Well, hello, my friends. I am Wavy, and welcome to the Friday live stream. Why is it playing that song? I literally wanted it to play this one. Oh, it's because it's shuffling. Duh. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week and wonderful Friday. Yes, indeed, does Bruce. Ah. Yes. Unfortunately, the, 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 yeah, so what is it? The daylight savings time hit. So we are, we moved one hour ahead. So what would it normally be? It would be like, um, yeah, we're technically early, early. Yeah, yeah. We moved an hour ahead. So right now I'm actually two o'clock Eastern Standard. So I'm actually right on time, believe it or not. Yeah, sorry. We moved our clocks forward, so I am a little bit ahead of schedule. And yes, I do have still the hard stop at six. So we're going to be streaming for four hours right now with the way things are going here. But if you can't make it, no worries. It always gets uploaded again afterwards anyway. But got all my stuff all set up. We should be nice. Go thank Tosper's for money. <laughs> yeah, welcome guys. Welcome, welcome. Just don't mind me. I'm just preparing a non alcohol definitely no definitely not alcoholic. No chance in a million years that there is any alcohol whatsoever in this Jefferson's reserve. There's no chance at all. None. Zero. Okay, this is a nice, clean, family-friendly, bring-your-kids type of stream. You guys better not, honestly, this is not family-friendly, okay? It's really not. That is some funny-looking water, right? I know. God, must have dragged this thing through a lake or something. Hey, guys, welcome, welcome. All right, Alan, take care of your stuff, no worries. Hey, Templar Knight. So, yeah, this mod pack does actually fit in the more hardcore category. So, let me see if I can remember. Let me see if I can. I don't care about no driver update, you ding-dong. Come on. Let me go see if I can pull up the... Uh, I wonder if there was any notes for it in that were a little bit more descriptive about the mod pack. So, I kind of forget exactly the premise. I know it is quite a bit more on the hardcore side of things. Did this have it? Ah, oh, yeah. Rebalanced progression system. Level up the character to give you abilities, which is nice. Different type of gameplay. More anomalies. The mutants, I remember the mutants were changed and they are quite a bit more dangerous. The controllers. Very, very dangerous. Did a lot of other things that you would typically expect. Um, the side damage, the way that the side damage works is pretty different and definitely what I would consider to be more hardcore. So, yeah, to that effect. Yep, yep. A sprite classic. Yeah, yeah. All right, folks. Let me see if I can get us booted up here in a second. Oh, and also let me... Okay, just give my computer a second. Yeah, don't worry, I'll flip the screen in a, I'll flip the screen to the uh, right scene once we have things all set up here. I'm just making sure that I have everything. Need to get here. This one. Everything here except this. Into here and quickly pause that before I start hearing anything. And one second, folks, let me just check to make sure I have it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Okay, perfect. Stalker atmospheric music enabled. Mod pack. Booting up. There we go. Let's get in there. Got all my stupid shit up here. <laughs> Alright, perfect. We'll keep that up. This can go away. That's there. Beautiful!
I'll explain what happened to his worker in detail. Oh boy. A worker died, you said. Uh-oh. Well, that certainly is going to be a mess. Oh, good luck with that one, Alan. The face reveal when? I have no freaking idea. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Who knows? If I can't drink alcohol off some tea, I should. I should. You know, Dust Bruce, I really do have to actually go and get that stuff soon. I've been trying, but of course, I'm too, uh... I'm just so fucking busy all the time. I have, like, no time to do anything lately. I've been very busy lately. Oh, you guys might like this story, so I was, I was telling everybody about this one. So, I have windows in the house that need to get fixed, right? I have them, they're, they, I'm pretty damn sure it's the windows that leak into the house. And they're all old, anyway, so they need to get replaced. I had these people come by who do windows. They quoted me for six, you hear me, six windows. Fifteen thousand dollars. I, I think my eye was twitching when he said that to me. I was very lost. <laughs> so yeah, that's the shit I've been dealing with lately. Uh, I have somebody else coming to deal with the windows. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. So the stalker nuts mod pack. Yes, sir. I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do here. I think last time we were playing this, we were doing a mercenary story mode. I think I probably want to stick with the story mode because I still want to have mutant spawns and things like that. So probably just stick with that. Warfare mode is always fun, of course, but I don't want to try to uh, try to screw things up too bad. You know how to fix anomaly crash when quick save? Mm, that one's going to be tough. Yeah, definitely try to load a previous save. Too lazy. Yeah, exactly. No, no, Dos Bruce. No timing out, people. Uh, uh. Hey, Pilot, welcome. Yes, this is the Nutsmon pack. It's kind of, um, it's not something that uh, is, I believe, available right now. It's still kind of uh, behind the scenes. The guys are still working on it. So it's a, it's definitely a bit more hardcore than uh, other things. They rebalance the way damage works, like psi damage, and for um, the way the mutants work. Controllers are actually dangerous, uh, which is fun, because they're not, normally. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What would be an interesting one to take? So I want to kind of do... Hmm. Yeah, the mercenaries are fun. The mercenaries are fun. They're interesting. Maybe duty? Or maybe freedom? Hmm. I think duty for this round. Damn, dude. They can give me the AK-12 right out of the gate. Holy smokes. That's a firearm. Definitely Rostock. No doubt about that. We'll move the gameplay and uh, the other difficulties up once we get in. No Iron Man mode, please. I don't want that. Choose a nice duty portrait. Oh, yeah. Nah, just kidding. Not a monolith spy. Definitely not a monolith spy. No possibilities of this guy being a monolith spy. Now let's take a look here. What do we have available? There's the AK nine, the AN ninety four. Holy smokes! Really? I could take that. I like the SKS. That's a good idea. Battery. I also, unfortunately, have this new freaking boom arm that uh, fucking. I'm not really happy about it. My my boom arm broke the other day. And this thing, like, sits in front of my screen. It's very annoying. Yeah, the font's interesting, right? They made a lot of changes. I actually like the way the UI is set up here. Although, I would kind of prefer the start button and things like that to be down on the right corner. It's just me. UI design. Let's take a nice little pistol. Let's take something to eat. What else here? I can't, I literally cannot fucking see what I'm staring at. Ooh, beans! Gotta take beans. You know how that shit works. How many points do I have? 550? We have so many points. Points used, 150 left. Um, vodka. If 
freaking 90 points left. All right, what else can I take with me? And there's a grooming kit, 100 points. Cigarettes, maybe. Yeah, why not? Perfect. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> Play as loner, clear sky. Mm. Yeah, I saw that one a little late. Really wants to sell your, your diplomas project to the government? That'd be fun. You could try, certainly. I've seen people did that with, um, like when we had our, they called it capstone projects. Yeah, it was your end of year, um, well, end of like uh, your degree, basically, project. There were some students who went on to like try to sell their stuff. I don't really think too many people had success with that, but... <clears throat> Yeah, someone did say beans. You're absolutely right. Okay. Hail and well met. What did you see? Hmm. All oh, right, we had English voices in this one, yeah. I gotta remember what's going on with everything. Let me also just double check my controls here, just to make sure everything's okay. Key binds. I want to make sure I have things that I'm expecting to have. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Good, good, good. I remember something about having to use the, um, the filters, but I forget about that one. I forget what I had to do with the filters. Gotta have beans. <laughs> We're on an all bean diet out here. <laughs> Make school bus service get his shit together. Oh, I thought I'd, I think you might have told me about it at one point, Headhunter. I think you might have told me about it. Those things are super overhyped. I mean, it, it's cool. I can imagine them having problems, though. Oh, yeah. Sorry if. Oh, yeah. You're right, Dodge Bruce. Um, one second here. Oh, wait. Do I not have a. I don't have a filter on. Yeah, here, let me just tune the... Oh boy, are those high? Yeah, okay. Aha. Aha. How's that one, gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, that one looks pretty good. I thought for a second, actually, I think it's... I think it's here. Ahaha, ha, ha, I did find it. That's what I was looking for. There you go. Now you guys got the uh, unfiltered picture. Sorry, I had a filter enabled on my capture card, so it was overwriting everything. That actually looks pretty decent. I think that's pretty good. And then, maybe I just might bump the gamma up just one. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Yeah, I remember you telling me, Headhunter. I don't remember all the details. It's hard for me to keep track of everything. Ah, uh, and yes. Noctis, by the way, of course, this is how I do things. In every single Anomaly mod pack, it doesn't matter what it is. There's two, well, there's one thing that has to be in there regardless when I play it, and that is the model of Taunts. Obvi. That one has to be there, but I also dumped in the Dark Signal, uh, gun sounds. So if I take, for example, where are the 74 AKs? Where are the 70, not the 74s. Was it 70? Yeah, 74. Something like this. They sound a little... Yeah. Not too bad. I don't know if it overwrites other sounds. But I'm pretty sure I got only the gun sounds to put that in there. Come Relax, dude. Shut up. Oh. I gained experience. Cool. I do remember that about the mod pack that you gain experience from doing all sorts of fun stuff and get to do 
various leveling up things and skills. I have to remember where all those menus were. <laughs> I'm not cheating. <laughs> Yeah, the finger. Good stuff, love that. Yeah, don't worry, I just wanted to show you guys with the uh, the dark signal sounds. Modified the gun sounds a little bit. At least I can see that over the screen. My boom arm's still kind of over my monitor, but... Howdy ho. Howdy ho. <laughs> Oh, magazines. Do I really? Do I really? Okay. What's with this shooter? Hey, whoa. I'm sorry. Relax, dog. I didn't even mean to be holding a gun here. Okay, magazines. The mod pack does have a Discord. Um, Noctis, if you would like... Uh, it's currently in development, so the guys who are working with it are kind of just uh, keeping a little bit more control over who they have working with the mod pack and whatnot. Some of these numbers are a little hard to read. Can't really tell. I could I could tell it says thirty, but you guys are definitely not going to be able to see that. I could read some of this stuff though. Oh, hey, barkeep. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Barkeep, is there any work you want done? A ring artifact. You're real funny. Captured documents in the Red Forest. You're really funny, dude. Pick some of that stuff. Now, what I need to do, actually, is talk to one of the duty men's. Yeah, the online debug store. <laughs> The Nuts guys just didn't have the uh, Russian voices in. They used the English ones. It's fine. It's fun. A little different. Give the radiation rock to finger. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Ah, Headhunter, the F7 button. You mean this one? <laughs> Okay, let's go talk to our duty guys, because actually those are the people that we need to talk to for our main story missions. Oh, dude, does it actually show me my ammo over in the corner there? Oh, that's kind of neat. Does it show me, like, what magazines, how many magazines I have on the loadout? Oh, that's actually sick nasty. Oh, cool, it shows me exactly how many magazines I have for the gun. Oh. I do like the UI design. It's, it's very informative, but also it doesn't really get in the way too much. Alright, now was it going to be Varanen or... Oh, definitely, I'll go find a Chimera right now. Petrenko, you're not the guy I'm looking for, right? Of course not. Kill a bandit in garbage. That probably wouldn't be too hard, but I'd have to want to, I want to go do that like right now. I want to go talk to the general. Get our story mission stuff. We are... What we got right now, Hunters, is a... Uh, uh -huh. Jefferson's Reserve. It, they say it's very old. Very old, very small batch. Bourbon whiskey. But of course, this is a family-friendly channel. Okay? This is a very, very... Family fucking friendly channel, okay? So there's absolutely no consumption of any type of alcoholic beverages happening here. Absolutely not. And you'll see a controller while you still can if you don't have proper... S run? Okay. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna try to fight the controllers too much. Hey, Rex. How'd you make it? Talking. I ain't got much time. How about you shut your mouth and listen to me? What's the current situation, sir? Four enemies. Freedom, monolith, mercenaries, and bandits. The two most worrying monolith and bandits? 
man. As far as freedom in the blue man group go, things are comfortable. Huh. Okay. I ask how we lost Yenov. Interesting. Is there any work you want done? Freedom faction patch. Oh, crap. The spy. Wait. Do I not have the ability to play the story mode with duty? There's no chance, right? We put it on story mode, didn't we? Am I missing something? We definitely... So I just spoke to Vorin and he didn't give me anything. Let me just check my messages again. An important task is available. I need brave volunteers to rec report to Colonel Petrenko and receive further orders. So I have to go back to the Colonel. Okay. Exactly, Headhunter. Exactly. That should tell you that should tell you everything. <laughs> Ever try cumulative pack two? I don't actually know what that is. Hail and well Petranko. Ah, here we go. Volunteers to carry out important missions. Hmm. Oh boy. Alright, hold on a second. So... Something's not right. Can I not play story mode with duty? That's gonna be an interesting question. We played... We, we set it to story... Did I set it to warfare mode? No, no, no. We'd be able to tell with the PDA if I did that. Hold on a second. Let me figure out. I can't seem to find the person to start the mission, the Lost to the Zone missions. Not like I need to do that, but it's kind of what I was aiming to do. Let me just double check. Let me make sure I didn't actually set it to warfare mode. If I did, we'll just play it. Let me just double check. Let me just double check. Simple Life Vision UI has been removed. Okay. I mean, the, it, right now it actually looks pretty... I think it looks pretty good. I'm liking the way you guys have done it now. Ooh, good question. I don't know. The Demon Share got my eye. The demon share got my eye. Come on, game. Oh, there it is. House life. Please do that. Air is too toxic, it says. Whoa. Task board. The task board. So wait. Oh, crap. Um. I don't remember the gas mask thing. Oh, shoot. Noctis, what do I have to do with the gas masks? Poisoning. I forgot about that. Oh, shoot. What was the button for it? It's got to be in the... Oh, uh, crap. I don't remember. RZ radiation. Weather info key. It was nine. What was the gas mask button? The the filters. The 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 These thingies. It was telling me the air was there. The air wasn't good or something. When I first loaded in, toxic air. Toxic air is what it is. Oh, you guys are good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Oh shoot! It doesn't tell me the button for the thing. Do I just have to deal with it? Oh, I need a gas mask in order to use the filters. I mean, I have this. Oh, do I just have to drag it over? Boy, we are so smart. 
We are so smart. I mean, it's just, it is a respirator. It worked, apparently. It's a respirator, not a helmet, though. So, hold on a second. If we're playing as duty, who do I have to talk to to start the Lost to the Zone missions? Hmm. I figure it was either Colonel Petranko or General Vernon. It's got to be one or the other, right? Unless... No, you have to be able to play the story mode as duty. That's definitely one of the factions you can. You definitely could play it as duty. Are you just General. Keep Shut up. Looking for men to track down some stalker. There it is. I will track him down. Hoorah! Yes, sir! We've got our missions! All right. Join duty. Yeah, it had to be one or the other. I guess I just had to talk to them and, and kind of just go through their prompts a little bit. Okay, look at that. We're rocking and rolling. And trapping on one. What was the other thing? I know there's the skills there. There was the other one. Let's see. Not this. Is it in the S's? No. Speed? Weapons affect sprint speed. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Kind of tilt. No. The zone customization project. You guys are crazy. I was trying to remember what the skills the skills menu were. Yeah, it's all good, Noctis. I know. Bugs and crashes with Stalker. It's normal stuff. No problem. Come to the bar. That's what I think of the bar there, Mr. Barman. Or whoever the hell is on that microphone, Mr. Duty Guy. Wait, all the dogs are... My mission to do the mutants. Okay. Should be up there. Are it's regular doggos that I have to deal with? Just get us a little money. Money. I better, I better quick save before something goes wrong. What is this artifact? That looks new. What? Oh, shh. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Hey, dead man, welcome. The experience framework button. Yeah, the J was the J I have the skills. I think I remapped it to maybe the long hold. I remapped it to... It was the long hold. Ah, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, it is J. Oh, crap. Wait, where am I now? Oh, this is even more different than it was before. Oh, it's the J button. I was hitting the K button. Duh. Duh. Oh, shit. That actually hurt me? Man, I wasn't even near that thing. Wow. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Damn. I'll get my ass beat out here. Hey, Grim, welcome. Yeah, we should try to throw bolts on that. That one's dangerous. I haven't seen that anomaly before. 
Well, that is new. I haven't seen that. Oh. All right. Ah. And these things are dangerous. Holy smokes. Oh. Ah, oh, that's all I had to do. Wow, barman. That was almost a waste of my time. I got hurt from a friggin' anomaly. Dude, does this is this thing moving? Oh, damn it. Oh, it's gonna kill me again. Whoa, what? Whoa, what? I was about I thought it moved. I actually thought it moved. Holy smokes. That thing actually killed my ass so easy. What? I swear, I swear. That thing actually moved on me. It definitely moved. That's crazy. You relax. So that bolt actually triggered this one. Shit, he's like all over this. Let me see if I can just do this really quick. Yeah? Damn it. Toggle aim. Actually, I want my hold. Do I want hold aim? I do want hold aim, don't I? Where is that button? Uh, gameplay. Generals. Can't really see the menu too well. Shoot. I'm forgetting where that is. It's got to be in controls, right? Toggle crouch. Toggle aim. Oh, please. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. It's the freaking dog. I heard that. Come on, please. That's better. Good. Got him. And got paid. Beautiful. Dude, that thing has range. Oh my goodness. Those anomalies are crazy. My guy got hurt so bad. Well, at least I got paid some good money. I gotta go to the medic and just get myself healed. Let me see if I could just... Yeah, deal with these pseudo-dogs too. Might get some more money from them. Yeah, average rookie duty stalker. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Those things were actually aggressive as hell. Hey, Richard, welcome. I wonder if it told me what the anomaly was. Usually they do. Uh, apparently not. Mutants, options, add-ons, notes, achievements. It should have told me anomalies. Alright. I guess I didn't discover the anomaly that I just literally stood in the middle of and that beat me up twice. That's okay. That's okay, I don't need to know about it. <laughs> yeah, it takes five steps out and gets mauled to death by dogs. How those guys got those exosuits, I don't ever guess. Turn off the loot anims? Nah, I'm not gonna bother turning off the loot animations. Alright, thanks, Rex, for dropping in some Discord invites in there. If anybody's interested in joining the Wavy Discord, you're more than welcome. Rex dropped a couple uh, invites in there for you. I need medical assistance, please. I'm very hurt. Good. I think I got paid like five, 5,000 for that one. What did it actually give me? Heal my wounds. Did it tell me? Ah, 45. Oh, shoot. I also forgot, guys. I totally... 
I always forget to do this too. Scavenger progression diff. Wait. Yes, yeah, scavenger progression difficulty, medium gameplay difficulty, please. That's better. Forgot about that. I'm not taking a shop at the debug store just yet. I love that. So. Now we have two missions that aren't exactly the easiest things in the world. The next one is to go to the military base in Agabrom. We're neutral military guys. There we are. And I think... Wait. Colonel Petrenko wanted me to deal with a bandit to task board. Task board is great. I love this. Agriprom. I guess investigate the site for somebody. Comrade is wounded and taken hostage. Army warehouses, you're bugging out. Dark Valley encrypted documents, you're also bugging out. Lost signal, I don't want to do that. Let me do a quick, quick refresh and see if they'll do me anything different. Alright, well we're going to Agriprom anyway, so... Find the missing duty soldier. I'm soon going to be the missing duty soldier. Very soon, actually. Hey, Hunter, if you want, yeah, you can contact. I don't know if you're a part of the Wavy Discord. If you have Discord, that would be the place to go. Um, Rex just sent the invite link just above there. You can take that and you can uh, DM Noctis. They're available there. Oh yeah, this will be light work. No, we, no problem, as long as I don't get mauled by dogs as I try to leave here. Oh, let's also quick save the game too. Each. These anomalies look a little different. They look good, though. Come on, big guy. Get your ass up there. Come on. It looks like I also have legs for days, so that's nice. I can actually run. Oh, I forgot I have mutant parts. What should I give mutant parts to? Uh, mutant parts would be best at Sakharov, but I haven't gotten to Yantar yet. Jeez. Oh, look, we discovered an anomaly. Ah uh ha -huh. Yeah, I trust. I'm going to be starting to use the bolts everywhere with how dangerous those anomalies were. I don't want to be catch. I don't want to be caught anywhere with any of those kinds of anomalies. My stamina bar, okay. I gotta remember which bars are which. So the top one was the armor condition, then we have the health, then we have the stamina, and then the last one was the psi health. Tiny blue bar, if I remember correctly. So you wanna know, Dos Bruce? You wanna know why it's no problem? Because I I definitely do not have it. Any types of beverages near my uh, current position or anything. Definitely not. Yeah. Hate electrical anomalies. Although this isn't into the radius, the electrical shit in there is so much, f so much worse. They're literally invisible. Yes, I love that they're all 100% condition. That's fantastic. Yep, don't worry, the F5 key. I am on top of it. I hope. Until I forget about it after a little while. 
All right, so Agaprom, where I need to go. But I do want to also just hit right here to get my fast travel pin over here in garbage. Fine beverages in Agaprom. Mmm. My favorite kind of task. Radiation anomaly. You don't say a radiation anomaly. Ooh. Those dynamic anomaly stuff. Actually crazy. These guys are nuts, man. <clears throat> oh! Please tell me I'm faster than the boars. Please tell me I'm faster than the boars. Oh, Jesus! I was not faster than the boar. Fuck! Not faster than the boar. Not faster than the boar. We learn the hard way. <laughs> I actually was not expecting that thing to be right the hell behind me. I got... That actually startled me big time. I was not expecting that thing to be right behind me as soon as I walked into the train hangar. Yay. And actually, that's actually that's a good point. My PM only had four rounds in it. Not the wisest idea. Oh yeah, trust me, Dust Bruce. My W key is locked in there. The new key caps are solid as a brick. I even still have my W key. He's right here. It's just to remind me always, you know. Still just chilling there. I know, I should have reloaded the pistol. <laughs> I was actually surprised that the PM took down a boar. Yep, there they are. Two of them, you say. Oh, yeah. Hate shooting them straight on. Okay, game, please, please, please don't give me the kill cam right now. No, you don't. That's better. I don't have a knife to actually do anything with them, so that was kind of a waste, but. Five bullets. Okay, that's all right. I might just take those out and reload those two magazines. Definitely after playing into the radius, I have way better recollection of what's happening with my magazines. I'm way more on top of that stuff. And I actually don't mind it for Stalker now that I, I used to always have a little bit of a gripe with it, but I really don't now. Did they have one? Did they have one health? That's annoying. Hey, can corn. What is this? Fine tuning. Interesting. Nice equipment. Butcher. You wouldn't happen to have anything interesting, would you? How much money do I have? Where is my money counts? Uh, do I see my money counts? Oh, there it is. 4,500. 4,050. Hmm. Not too much, unfortunately. He does not have any 762 rounds, which would be for my SKS. What is this? A Remington 700? Good lord, man. What are these artifacts? What the hell? Full empty? A hundred and sixty? Holy smokes! Highly radioactive is a... That's an understatement. 160 millisieverts per second. That's insanity. That's crazy reactive. 
Look at this one. It doesn't have any radiation. That's got to be expensive. 60-something thousand? Good lord, man. All right. I better not keep looking at that. Holy schmoly. Yeah, knocked it so far so good. It looks pretty good. I'm liking everything. The new anomalies are fun. Those weren't in the... I don't remember what version I was using last. To be quite honest with you, it's it was a very early version. I think the last time we played was back in December, right? So there's definitely been a lot of changes. The new anomalies are crazy. All the other stuff feels pretty good. Generally, stability-wise, not bad. The fonts are still, uh, I would say, a, a little work in progress. Some of the numbers are a little hard to read from time to time. I think it's just because when you get to, like, the ammos and things like that, it makes the text, like, it squishes it down. So it kind of, like, it's a little bit harder to read an aspect. The text isn't too, the text is fine, I can read that. Some of the numbers are a little, a little hard to decipher. The menu, I was also seeing a little, like, with the menu when it was really bright. It was kind of hard to read some of the stuff because the text is white. Some of the backgrounds. I do like the UI design. The inventory here looks nice. I like that. A lot of the UI stuff is good, good. Hey, you are welcome. Six point oh. Okay. It has been a little while, so I wasn't quite sure. Dude, there are definitely some anomalies that I have never seen before. This is some fun stuff, man. It definitely seems stable. I'm not having any problems, that's for sure. Oh, moving to Japan. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, no, the main menu is fine as far as, like, the animation stuff go. It's the, um, the menus, like... Notice how this menu here has a background overlay. I'm pointing with my fucking hand. This here has, like, that background. So you could see the text a little bit better, no matter what's behind it. But, like, when you go into the settings, there's not that behind overlay. So some of the text is a little hard to read. An egg catch, you know, zombies. Yo. All my favorite anomalies, and then some other stuff that I have never seen before. Whoa, dude, relax. Oh, they're electric. Alright, looks like I gotta find my way around here a little bit. The GTR. <laughs> Stalker physics logic was applied IRL. Do you think you'd be able to survive? Uh, probably. I mean, if I could get shot and then just take a bandage and like... Just... I don't know, wrap my arm with it and then survive? Yeah, I probably could. Probably wouldn't be too bad. You should see me play the, uh, the Into the Radius. The VR series that I'm doing. It's basically VR Stalker. Quite a bit different level of immersion than just playing a game with your mouse and keyboard. Piss off. I don't even know what that- was that guy yelling at me? I don't even know what the hell he was saying. Uh, Lieutenant Kirilov. Where is he? Inside the building. Okay. Lieutenant Rogovets. Yeah, no, those anomalies, though, that was a little sketchy. Definitely a little sketchy. What is with the military guy on the radio? Lieutenant Girilov, I've come to see you. Patrol the local area. Keep an eye out for unauthorized personnel. Patrol local area. 
Faction Free Stalkers in Agriprom. Well, that's an interesting mission. Patrol local area. I don't think I've seen this mission before. Patrol area. What do I have to do to patrol the area? I've seen the one where you go around to the different locations. Those are the scouting missions. Patrol missions. Interesting. Oh, my summer car was was uh, pretty brutal. I actually was thinking about playing it a little bit over the weekend. I was like, oh, it was kind of fun. <laughs> Except when I rolled the tractor after I basically did everything without saving the game. Yeah, nothing like losing nearly two hours of gameplay to rolling your tractor and being stuck in the middle of nowhere. Bloodsuckers, really. Oh yeah, we're making some goulash, baby. I don't know if it's going to be kill all loners. I don't know what's going to happen when I go over there. Oh, hell yeah. He had a nice shotgun. I wonder if I could repair that. If I find other stuff, I might be able to. Right, let's see how I'm going to get over there. Got to run around a little bit. Oh, uh, actually, actually, hold on, boys and girls. We have the perfect opportunity to go straight down to the Great Swamps. Because we are right here. We're right on top of it. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what it'll be, Dos Bruce. I'm actually not sure. I uh, missed the last live. Uh, there'll definitely be another one. We'll do my my summer car. I didn't even actually get to do anything, and I quit. I did quit early. I forget. We played for like three hours, and all that I did was I took... First, I just like screwed around just to figure out like what's going on and how to do things for like an hour. And then I spent another hour going to the store and back with the boat. And then I forgot more stuff, so I went out to the store with the tractor. That took another hour. And a half, basically. And then I drove the tractor back. And I rolled it. And then I was just like, well, I don't know what the fuck to do here. And I pulled the save back. And it was before I went to the store with the boat. So, I screwed up big time. With our saves and everything. The way it was going. So, I bailed on it about three hours into the stream. And then played Helldivers with Matas. <laughs> But we could probably play it again. I actually kind of was thinking about it a little bit because I was like, oh, the game's kind of fun, but I just kind of screwed up. So. I forgot about the water irradiating me instantaneously. Uh-oh, that is not good. I don't have anything to deal with that. <laughs> when you played as military, you had a patrol mission? Really? Dude, I'm not gonna... F I'm not gonna just go over there and kill all the stalkers. That's crazy. Yeah, no kidding. That's gonna fuck everything up. Well, great, that kind of screws me with that mission. Well, we'll figure it. We'll figure it out. When we go up there, we'll figure it out. But if that really is what we have to do, that's messed up. Control the area. Why do I have bolts? Or what? Why do I have shells as bolts? No, 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 We do not have limited bolts. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. There was... Wait, no, we didn't drink any beverages on the boat. We drank beverages on the tractor. Yeah, there was beverage drinking in the tractor. Not on the boat, uh, not on the boat, unfortunately. Dude, I just got fucking instantaneously irradiated. Okay, well, we have to find another route, I guess. What am I doing here? Where are we gonna have to go? Oh, right, Headhunter, we played Dark Tie, not Hell Divers, because Matas couldn't play Hell Divers. Yes. I lose track of everything, trust me. My memory is garbage right now.
I went to the fucking, I went to the food store last night because I was supposed to marinate something like overnight and today. Um, and then I forgot something at the food store late at night. The whole point was to go to the store so I could get the stuff so I could do it that night. But then I forgot something and I, I had to go this morning again. Annoying. My memory is just garbage. Yeah, I can't say my summer car went great. I didn't think it went horribly. I just kind of didn't know what the hell to do for a good while there. Great. Bloodsuckers. My favorite. You are right, Das Bruce. That is just life in the zone. Usually I can get through that, but sometimes the anomalies are really close to the coastline and it's hard. <laughs> Why am I flipping off the fucking... <laughs> flipping off the bloodsuckers. With a good old Bratia. <laughs> yeah, I definitely entered some heavy radiation. I just walked straight in there. It was completely irradiated. Oh, you think so, huh? Actually got him. Yeah, level received, you don't say. Body has nothing useful. I'm actually running out of bolts in the PM. That deserves a quick save, though. Wait, now I have a level up, you say. Relax on that. Gunslinger. Butcher. 50% chance to get additional mutant part. I don't like that. I mean, I do like that. Just kidding. Unloading bullets from magazines goes 30% faster. Sick. Not spend a repair kit repairing stuff. 5% better prices. Reload pistols and some machine guns faster. 25% less damage from controller psi attacks. Not bad. Whoa, okay. Interesting. 50% melee damage to mutants. I love that one. 25% faster when I gain movement boost. Hmm. Hmm. Movement speed by 6% carry weight. Reduces carry weight. Increases carry weight. We like that. Oh, yeah. Strong back perk. Oh, wait. I don't have any trait points. What am I doing? What was it? Double double click to get the... This guy. Aha! I have one skill point for this menu. That was his own word. Dude, there's so much stuff to look at here. Crack open a Jaeger. Nice. Oh, hey, Matas. Welcome. Ah, no worries, brother. No worries. You're right on time. Medic scrounger. One additional item in stashes and corpse. Dude, are you kidding? Hell yes. There it is. Hell yeah. Yeah, trait menu and then the experience framework, which is the levels. Yeah. I'm following. The slow motion, yeah, the kill cam. I forget if I could control that, I assume I can, yeah. An update coming for SCP-5K, you don't say, really? Oh, we're definitely gonna have to check that. Out. What us? Back into the stalker roots, you bet. I actually should have made that louder. But, that's all good. Thank you, brother. For the five bones, appreciate that. And give you a little heart on that comment. Why not? No, I'm not gonna report the comment, please. YouTube, give me the heart. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. All right, let's see here. So I have to deal with. Oof. Um. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Let's see if we can find a way through here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at me. Good. Alright, we're through. I might drop another quick save for that. How many quick saves do I have here? I think it was ten, maybe. Six, yeah, so we have ten quick saves. Alright, no big deal. Yeah, I gotta stay away from that water. That stuff is dangerous. Oh yeah, the new thing came out. What was it? Is it today that it came out in Eldivers? Nice, nice. Lightning shotgun. Interesting. I saw someone was showing some demo of them adding new stratagems. One was an expendable multi-rocket launcher. And the other one was like a laser cannon, but you charge the shots. It was like the railgun and the laser cannon added together. I don't know if these guys are just making mods for this fucking game and just showing them off. Or they're actual real things, but supposedly they were original stratagems from the first game. Should be interesting to see. Interesting to see. <laughs> Making the gravitational anomalies triggerable, yeah. I mean... It's certainly helpful, so I can actually not die. <laughs> Met some lurkers out there, oh goodness. Yesterday, okay, okay. Ah, oh, Doc. Hey, big guy. Erd Strelik is still alive. Do you know anything about it? Blah, blah, blah. Will do. See you, bye. Perfect. That actually scared me. So that's the sound of my subscriber alerts, I think. Isn't it the sound of my subscriber alerts? Let me double check. I, actually, I know it's an alert sound. What do I have that as an alert sound for? No, I have the blowout, and then I also have that one as... I'm pretty sure that one's for subscribers. Sorry, just... Actually startled me. Isn't the variation on this? Yes, I thought so. Yeah. yeah. I told you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, oh, sorry, Matas. I won't be able to tonight. I've got the hard- I've got a hard stop at six. So I'll be streaming for another three hours here, my friends. After those three hours, I do need to stop at that point. Um... And I don't think I'll have any time after after that. I have some things I need to do then. And I'll probably be busy for most of the rest of the night. Okay, well. Area map. Hey, map. So we picked that up. I'm tempted to just bounce back. <laughs> Why don't I be a good little boy and take my feet and walk over there? I do say I am a touch irradiated. I'm gonna have a smoke. Get rid of that. Uh, uh. Have you seen a picture where the automatons have an AT-80 -AT walker? Ah, he did not see that. I imagine they're adding new stuff. I'm waiting for this new faction people keep talking about, the Illuminate. I am waiting for that one. That will be interesting. Just want to make sure I'm not walking straight into some water here. A little quick save action, yep. Yeah, we just got thirsty too. We are all good. Almost scared me, I thought I was walking into water. Look at me, scared of water. Scared of getting wet. <laughs> now I also have to be careful here to remember how I got through the little anomaly field here. Alright. Jeez. Should be able to walk straight forward. And then there's going to be one right there. Where is an exit? Right here. Make sure I'm not walking straight into another one. 
should be safe right through this way. Perfect. Look at us. Alright, back up to Agaprom. And then we can attempt to see what's up with this patrol mission. Dospruz is telling me I'm going to have to kill all the stalkers there. That's going to just suck. I'm not going to be able to do that mission, though. Drink vodka. <laughs> hey, Legionary, welcome. Hey, Fraser. No, nope, uh, the mod pack is currently under development. We're basically looking at a, I guess, Noctis, you were calling it a, a beta version. Any mod that makes gravity anomalies trigger is a godsend. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. You just throw your bolts and you just, just makes a little spot on the screen. Making them actually trigger is nice. Uh, so theoretically, right, if you actually trigger the anomaly, you could, technically speaking, walk through it. Or no, you can't. It's a gravity anomaly. It'll still suck you up. What am I saying? Hey, take them. Welcome. Yeah, Rex is basically my, uh, my, my, uh, what does Streamlabs call it? Cloud bot. He's my cloud bot for my Discord invites. How about you piss off? No, I just lost my footstep sounds. Wait, where's my music? Oh, no, music's still there. It's just quiet right now. I lost my footsteps. Lost some of my footsteps. Let me do a little quick save, quick load. <laughs> uh oh. Something might not be. I hope nothing's breaking right now. I do have some footsteps, I just don't have my footsteps outside. That's a little strange. Hello, Mr. Military Man. I am curious. Do you have. <sighs> what now here? I'm gonna get lost staring at. Look at this fucking thing. Three. Hundred millisieverts per second. Are you kidding? That's crazy. That's actually freaking crazy. That is nuts. All right, hold on. Nine by nineteen. We need nine by eighteen rounds. Just a couple, okay? And maybe some seven six twos. 762 by 39s. Do you not have 762 by 39s? 762 by 39s. There you are. 37. Good. Now I am out of money. Maybe you'll pay for mutant parts here. Not much. I should go back to Butcher and sell the mutant parts. Well, why didn't I when I was there? Alright, perfect. So, let me just eject the magazine on this guy. So I can load these all up. Should just do this, right? Did I buy 9 by 19 rounds? Whatever. I'll buy a Glock at some point anyway. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright. I'm still missing footstep sounds. I hope nothing's broken. The Elden Ring. <laughs> Artifacts that let you balance the ranger. I imagine, yeah. That's a crazy amount of radiation. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I 
I wonder what the de Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. The death lamp. Blood compass. What is this? 500 millisieverts and 420 milliliters per minute of bleed. But it adds, what is that, 20 kilos? <laughs> oh, that's nuts. That's fucking, this is so cool. Yo, look at this stuff. Look at this, the shard of the monolith. It's an actual little picture of the monolith. What is this? A metal? Has the ability to what? A powerful throwing weapon? It will seek nearby foes and deal laceration damage upon contact? Has the ability to ricochet off walls and objects? After some time or if it's too far away, it will return to the wielder. Has two uses. <laughs> <gasps> what, dude? Look at this, the Doomslayer sigil. Tier 4 unique artifact. 500 millisieverts. Crazy. What? High impact protection, extremely high rupture resistance. That's gnarly. Here's the heart of the oasis. Nice. That thing is strong. Dude, this is actually so much fun. This is crazy. Hey, Alan. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you got the CNF-22. Sick. Very expensive. Very expensive. Just throw the artifact. Yeah. Oh boy, Alan. That sounds like a day. The Eye of the Sauron on the top. But this one. Death Rose. Dude, holy crap. The Dragon's Eye. The gun, your gun receives the possibility to trigger explosive shot. Wow. This is nuts. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. I don't actually know where the Death Lamp is. There is AF death lamp. I'm probably just missing it. I thought that would be the death lamp. That says blood compass. The heart. Where did the death lamp be? What is this? Everlasting love. Tier 4 vitality artifact. What? Hold on a second. So, quick save. Let me look. AF death lamp, death lamp. There she is. That's the death lamp. The death rose is what they're calling it now. 300 millisievert per second. It's not even the highest. That should be like 900 or something. <laughs> it should be like totally unusable. Aren't many fire artifacts. Yeah. Ain't sleeping for a few days. I can imagine. Yeah. The death rose. Something's up with the sounds. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me just restart the game really quick. I just don't want to be in like a bad state and have the game uh, blow up in my face or anything. Unless I fucked it up because I put the dark signal stuff in there. I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. Just because I, I literally don't go artifact hunting. <laughs> I can't help myself, especially when all of them are unique and, like, crazy. I can't help myself. The Sob Dorito. The Desault's cool. Yeah. F-15 is a sick-ass plane. Big-time crazy-ass plane. I've always had a soft spot for the F-14 Tomcat. And the F-4 Phantom. And the F-117 Nighthawk, too. Yeah. Because that thing was just cool. 
and check Discord what you guys sent me there. Mm. Ah, Tatrati. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yes, the Fox Bat's cool, too. The Fox Bat's definitely very cool. Oh, yeah, I know, Noctis, trust me. That's why I've learned these little, you know, quick save, quick loady stuff. It might have been me, too, because I did, I did screw with the game uh, audio files a little bit, too. It looks like I don't have steps. On concrete and things like that. Interesting. That's okay. We'll be alright. So, patrol area. There's a bunch of stalkers here. Howdy! Howdy! Wait, what did I just say to him? I heard your message. Need a guide. This guy needs a guide? 24 hours I need to be in Jupiter. East of the quarry is going to give me 10 I'm grand for it. <laughs> Jupiter, you say? Hmm. How in the world would I get to Jupiter? That's not happening. That's what I'm telling you. I, I'm not. I don't know how to get Come you on, to Jupiter. I'm not spilling no beans, dog. Jupiter? Psych. That's real funny. What do you need to do in Jupiter? You're literally wearing the most plain Jane stalker suit ever. So yeah, the patrol mission, I guess, literally wants me to go and sit here and kill all the stalkers. That's so scuffed. Well, alright. And we also have the mission to deal with the Agaprom underground, which is a problem. I'm really not prepared to do that, but you know what? Why don't we give it a shot? Why don't we give her a shot? You know, give her a go. The Mirage is cool. Yeah. SR-71 is badass, too. Yeah, the F-14 was always just kind of one of those... It was like the time the time that the F-4 and the F-14 came out, they were just like... I wouldn't really necessarily call them revolutionary. It was just kind of like... To that effect, though. Just don't... The, the, Uh, worms you have in your inner, the longer it'll take you to load inventory and stash. Really? Well, that's interesting. I actually did not know that. Now, hold on a second. I do not want to go there. I want to go here. Yeah, exactly. You're right. I, I need the Psy Helmet to go to Jupiter anyway. Or at least to go to the Red Forest and things like that, so... Give me the beans. <laughs> the gripping is cool. The gripping is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know too many European fighters all that much. I know the MiGs and the Sukhois pretty decently. Do I not even have a fucking flashlight? Oh, dude, I am way ill-prepared for doing something like this. You guys ready to do the Agriprom Underground without a flashlight and with an SKS and a PM? Only mildly spooky in here. Either Poltergeist or Beerer, one or the other. I almost have him. He's got one health. Literally one health. Ah! Oh, dude, you are such an asshole. Literally one health. Come on. Blummer. Inventory load times. Loading a shop. <laughs> Spitfire, yes, yes. Oh, now we're talking about prop planes? Mmm. I have... 
Prop planes. Spitfire is a classic one. You can't hate the Spitfire. The P-51D Mustang. Classic. But I also really like the Corsair with the, the, the swoop wings. And that thing had a fat engine, too. Hey, Alan, we're hanging out. Easy the chemical. We're chilling, we're chilling. I hope you're doing as well as you can be. Yeah, was that the poltergeist or was it the was it a beer? I don't really know. If it was one or the other. Rats. Not you, not you, not you. Anything but the zombie. I hate the rats so much. Come on! Bring it! <laughs> I shouldn't be down here, I'm telling you. I really shouldn't be, honestly, that I shouldn't be fucking down here. We do not have anywhere near the equipment that we need to be doing this. That zombie, I hate those zombies more than anything. The knife doesn't work against the mutants. What kind of baloney is this? Fuck. The B-17. Now that's a fat bird. <laughs> I'm taking that 9 by 18 and then watch this shit. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you think you're funny, huh? Ouch, it hit me! I hit him again. Oh, dead. I have to use one bandage. One med kit, at least. <laughs> the life skill debuff, yeah. <laughs> ah, we're alright. Take her nice and slow. Yeah, I know, the Psy health doesn't look great. But we're chilling. It's not the worst thing in the world, I do see it decreasing. Take her nice and slow. I'll do my visions blurring. Nah, I don't want to run. I don't want to spook the poltergeist too much. I might, I might have to, honestly. We're getting beat up out here by this. Oh! You jerk! Now I get to play the game of how do I get inside this tunnel here. There it is, there it is. Holy crap, my psy is deteriorating fast. Yeah, we gotta be careful. My guy needs to eat some beans. Alright, let's real quick pick up this. Pick up that. Anything else to pick up? I don't think. The stash over here. Is this a stash? Expert tools. Oh, dog, we gotta bounce. We have got to get out of here now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have the... the uh, Phantom's showing up, right? Gee whiz! The poltergeist is killing my ass! We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here now. Did the Psy Sucker have anything on him? I don't even remember if I took parts off of him or not. Oh boy. Oh nice, the rats are all dead. Can I please? Thank you. There we go. Oh boy. Now we're just gonna get out of there. We're gonna go on and get. Just take our stuff and leave. You're doing alright, Alan? Yeah, I can imagine it's sad. 
You're absolutely right, brother. You're absolutely right. Boy. Now the Psy Health stuff. Dude, I need to actually, hold on. Let's grab a smoke. The radiation is bad. Grab a quick smoke. Take a walk. Give my guy a little vodka, too. He needs to take a load off. And... Some water, too. There we go. A swordfish. I actually don't think I've heard of that one before. The cigars, yeah. Do cigarettes not count? I would need cigars, right? This actually adds psi resistance. It says one. It's not going to help that much, but... We're, we're a little blurry, that's for sure. If you guys are actually watching it and noticing that it's blurry, that's because of the effects of the psi damage. Check out this thing. Alright, hold on. I want to go back to garbage to hand mutant parts over to Butcher. Then we'll head back up to the bar. Because we have to hand in one mission to one of the guys up there. The Vaseline Gornius, yeah. Hey, Detonia, welcome. Oh, dude, not having the footsteps is weird. I hope that I hope that comes back around soon. Oh, only lurker sounds. Oh God, don't kill me! And it still got the hit in. Good grief. Call for a drink for Ivan? Of course, my guy. Pour one out for my mans. Dude, that thing actually took a chunk out of me. Oh, dude, that actually hurts so bad. I'm gonna have to use all my medical supplies. I wonder if Butcher maybe has a couple bandages. It is practically horror survival at this point. You're right, Noctis, you're right. I really wonder what's going on with the footstep sounds. I wonder if the dark signal stuff has anything to do with it. Is it telling me anything here? Invalid OGG comments, that's not important. And my boy's psi health is bad. It is bad. Or smoke more. <laughs> oh, dude, he does have bandages. Oh, boy, those are expensive. I don't have enough money. Oh. Um. Here, take this stuff. And take this. Sell that and buy that. Okay, good enough. It says the cigarettes only do 1%, though, so that's really not going to help me too much. Because we're way far off from, isn't it 75% that you get the vision? So we're quite a bit of ways off. We're going to need something else. And I don't think I could fast travel because of the radiation on me, too, right? I wonder if I can. I wonder if that's allowed or not. Oh my goodness, I can't read! Oh, I can fast travel. Let's go. Eighty percent, sixty percent, fifty. Okay. Gotcha. Understood. Okay. Reading is a nightmare. You're right, Mathos. You're right. I don't like to read. I 
I'm listening. Hmm. Barkeep. Um, I have documents? What documents do I have? Oh, yeah, the stuff I found in the base. Okay, no. I need information about Straylock. Thank you. Gave me Cyblock and some other stuff. Two skill points! Barkeep, do you have anything that can help me get rid of, um... Oh, that'll help remove radiation. Those are expensive. What about... <gasps> That's expensive, too! Three grand for f***ing beer? Barkeep, that's a rip-off. Three grand for beer. Brother, what are you doing? Freaking robbery out here. What about tobacco? <laughs> 11,000! Barkeep, you're killing me here, man. You're killing me. He's got all just cigarettes. All cigarettes. Chocolate. Doesn't sleeping help your psi stuff? Anomalous mushroom? <sighs> Damn, dude. All of his stuff is so expensive. That's crazy. Alright, let's talk to our duty guy. Maybe I can also take a little nappy nap. You're right, Mathos. Anything more than three syllables. You might as well just stop talking to me. Bake some pastries for dinner. That's not. That doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Not tired enough to sleep? You're kidding. Uh-oh. Hmm. My guy's still very heavily irradiated, too. I need to keep smoking. Keep smoking! Man, dude, 3,000 rubles for friggin' a mug of beer. And and even the bottled beer, too, was 3,000. That's some crazy stuff. Uh, how to spend my money wisely. See, I'm gonna spend it on basically beer and beans. <laughs> That's gonna be the extent of it. In most cases. Alright, so hold on a second. Let's see here. I got the scrounger. Increases the experience you receive. That's not a bad idea, honestly. Toughness. Reduces your damage taken by 1%. Mm -hmm. Increases the effectiveness of bandages. 5% more money for doing things. Have a chance to get coordinates of an additional stash. Absolutely. Thank you. And do I have training points for this? No. Nah. Liquid gold, I know, basically. At that point, that's a lot of money for some brews. I know, we gotta really do something about our man's here. He's struggling. Start. Job is done, Colonel. 5,300. Alright, that's not great, but... And... I still have... Okay, we're decent on medical supplies. I'll take another... Swig of the, of the vodka here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what the anomalous mushrooms will do, Headhunter. It would be interesting. And the radiation is persistent, that's for sure. We're very close to actually dealing with the Psy stuff. It's going slow, but it's going. That radiation isn't budging. Oh, it's like barely budging. Good tie to nature is essential. <laughs> Ingesting them in the forest is a great way to bug out Matas.
All right, let's take a little look, Ski. We've got 6,000 a shotgun and expert tools. I might drop those off at the bar, the stash in the bar, just so they're there. Nah, yeah, I can go over to the medic, but then I gotta go pay him. And I don't know if I want to do that right now. I don't know if it's really worth it for me to bother. The, I don't think they're gonna help me with the Psy health. You have Psy block. I should, I had Psy block this whole time. I should have taken that before I went down into the Agapram underground. What was I doing? Oh boy. Join a duty. <laughs> the other thing I'm thinking about doing is selling the kit that I found to that technician. I don't need that right now, and it should give me a little bit of money. Just a little bit, yeah? Why don't you trade you this? 1,400! That's it! That's nothing! Come on, my boy! You gotta give me something! A little something something, right? Alright, boys and girls, you give me one moment here. I will return in just a my thing. Quality beverage. Don't mind me. Yeah. <clears throat> Delicious. Delicious. Take them shrews in the red part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're real funny. The duty propaganda voice cue is your alarm sound. That would be fantastic. Ah, Matas, we had the very old, very small batch, uh, dark liquid, and then we have this one. Is this is the very, very, very um? What would be right the ad, the right adjective? It is the barley water. It is the barley water, but it's very um. It's the the very hoppy. Barley water, yeah, yeah. The Dippa, you could say. The Dippa. I'm really kind of curious about why the footsteps aren't working. There's a little on, I wonder. Let me go just see something really, really quick, okay? Let me see if I take out the dark signal audio, that that'll start working. Signal sounds me. Let me just take a look. I don't think that is going to affect it because it should be only the gun sounds. But it could be wrong. It could be wrong. The brown stuff, the brown liquid. Yeah, the brown liquid is right here. This stuff. We we already had the brown liquid. We hydrated with the brown stuff. One can of a hazy IPA and then a grapefruit IPA. Yeah, I've got a, I've got the double, right now, and it's the only one I have. So I will be out after this, and then I have uh, just s stupid cheap beer. So nothing too exciting. Hey, Maximus, welcome. Ah, delicious. Oh, is it four o'clock? Ah, yes. It's time to let the terriers out. It's time to let the terriers out. Bark, bark, bark. That window's not open, right? My neighbor's gonna be like, hey, that asshole's gonna make fun of our dog. Oh, yeah, so the footsteps are not affected by the dark signal stuff. I wonder what happened. And it's like not working at all. Screaming sounds. 
Mm, that's interesting. That's interesting. All right. Well, let me put those back on because I like the dark signal sounds. Maybe I could put the dark signal, all, all of the dark signal stuff in because then it would actually overwrite that stuff. Um, dark signal sounds main. Where would that be, though? That's a good question. Normally mods, dark signal mods. Signal sounds, not ambient, not weapon. No, not that. Jump sound, no, definitely not. That one did overwrite the sounds. I don't even remember where I had, no, there was the audio soundscape. No, definitely not that one. Weaponscape audio, yeah, that was just the audio. I'm confused. All right. Well, all right, guys. I guess we're going to have... We won't have footsteps for a little bit on the concrete. Concrete uh, footsteps. I'm not really curious how overpowered the controller is. I'm really not. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question. Is the potato walked? Ooh, got to walk the potato. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. Not to install other add-ons. It's never really a good idea to try to mix more junk in there, but you know what? I have, uh... I'm special, so... It is Wavy's modding adventure, yeah! It's how it works. Maximus shows up, says hi, walks the potato, comes back. It's, it's, uh, the way it is. You want me to turn on God mode and spawn the controller? Well, I gotta, I gotta fix my freaking psi health first. Does God mode fix that? No. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, let me, um... Where's some medical supplies that I can use? Heroin? <laughs> Whoa, dude, what is all this stuff? Minus 3,000 radiation, 100% health, 1,000 satiety, and minus 1,000 intoxication. That's an artifact? There's medical artifacts? What? Dude, you're kidding me. God, I've been out of the anomaly loop for a long time, man. Holy crap. What I need is something to help me with the size stuff. Ah, <gasps> cocaine. Where's my Mary Joannas? Ah ha ha. I'm going to use the marijuanas. No, Dash Bruce, I'm not doing the military mission. I can't. Oh, dude, our stamina's getting crapped on, but actually, that worked so well. Our psi health is literally jumping up. Oh, 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 I found the way to deal with the psi health, the marijuana joint. The marijuanas and the cannabis joint. Oh, oh, you don't say. You, yeah, you don't say the marijuanas. The za. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gassing up in Rostock. No kidding. That's some. That's some serious business. They're gonna look at me and go, "Is this guy?" Is this guy? Is this guy a a freedom spy? His name, his name is not a monolith spy, so he's definitely not a monolith spy. No, no. All right, guys, hold on one second. Let's see here, mutant. Oh, definitely a strong bibliotechar would be great to spawn in here. 
How about... How about... Controller Tube Man. Mm hmm. That can't be the only controller in here, right? There's only M controller. M controller normal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 dude, whoa. What the f Ah! It's spawning snorks at me! I forgot, it makes me shoot my gun without my control. Where is the snorks coming from? Where did I even spawn it? Where did I actually even spawn it? I, the, the thing is not even visible and it's actually tearing me apart. Ah! Yo, did he zombify the stalker in here? He totally did. Oh my goodness gracious. And so now I'm going to blow my brains out. Wow. <laughs> Good lord, man. Good lord. The 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 uh the blood curdling screams might have might have been a little bit. Shut up. Oh, something. Oh, I have audio, audio still hitting here. Okay, it's just probably residual. Okay, okay. Yeah, the blood curdling screams might have been, might have been a little, a little much. That thing was spawning snorks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Good lord, man. I knew about the I knew about the Sonic stuff, yeah. <laughs> the Sonic fan art. <laughs> the super barely let you off the hook. <laughs> yeah, after you were piloting the mechs. Mm. Oh shoot, we're a little stuck in here with the sounds. Hold on one second. Let me see. Let me just quit the game really quick and load back the save. Sounds like we're stuck with some controller sounds. Controller perfectly balanced. Yeah, definitely. Definitely perfectly balanced. I'm really not thrilled with this new boom arm. I'm really not happy about it, but you know what? I was able to get this boom arm in one day, so... We take our wins where we can get them. See, if only I was a part of Freedom, I could go down to the Freedom Trader and buy a marijuana joint, and then smoke that, and then the Psy Health would, uh... be totally fine, but the barman is not very intent on selling the weed. Barman, do you have the weed? Excuse me, sir. The weed. The weed. Does you have the marijuanas? He does not have the marijuanas. He also has tobacco for 11,000 rubles. Brother, your prices are outrageous. I'd rather sit here so I can yell at Sidorich and tell him to fuck off. Nah, barman's not the plug. No, he's not. I was hoping he was, but he's not. Join duty. Alright, so. At this moment in time, I have to do what? Talk to Professor Sakharov. I don't know. I don't know, Matas. I can't. I'm duty. I can't go over to Freedom. I don't know where else to search my. I don't get. I can't. I don't know where to source. Are 
the yeah. devil's lettuce. I am I am unaware of where I can source the devil's lettuce. How much do you sell beer for? Three thousand rubles. A good lord, man. Now hold on. I actually need nine by eighteen rounds because I am out of them's. I thought I was buying nine by eighteen before, but I bought nine by nineteen for some stupid reason. Stupid. Stupid. Hey, a thermos. An iron mug. An iron mug. Iron. Oh. Let me talk to the medic guy. Um, I wonder if he'll have anything interesting that I maybe can do. I'm not using the fucking cocaine. <laughs> I don't know if his medical assistance helped me with the psi health. He'll help me with the radiation, but that's a lot of money too, man. Let me see if I can buy something from him. Cyblock is going to... Would Cyblock... Now, here's the question. Would Cyblock fix the Psy health? This is... These are sleeping pills. What is that? 5,000? That's way too much money, dog. Activated charcoal tabs. What? Sleeping pills might actually. Yeah, they're not really going to help me too much. I do, however, I actually kind of want to buy some bandages and stuff. Maybe just one. Thank you. The health will come. I, I assume the health will come back. We'll just keep smoking, maybe. I would hope the medic have it, but he don't. Nah, we can't go up north, Legionary. We can't. We need the Psy Helmet to be able to get all the way up north. The areas themselves are actually that dangerous. We have to be a little careful. The duty medic didn't have heroin. The heroin looked like, um... The heroin looked like this. A, a plain white bag. Did you guys see it there? Nah. <laughs> A true horror, yeah. No, that controller basically whooped me pretty good. Holy crap, he does have the heroin. You guys weren't kidding. How much for heroin? Five grand. Brother. The airsoft lovers, yes. Definitely heard of Lost Alpha. We actually played it. Played it, made videos, all the fun stuff. High on cocaine. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help me. I really want to wonder what's happening with the footsteps. I wonder if I can find something to... What would be something that I can modify to deal with the footsteps? Hmm. I have idea. Hold on one second. Let me see really quick if I can maybe find... Let me just see if I could just drop this in here really quick. It's actually kind of weird that I'm just like, I'm running around and I can't hear anything. Like, actually anything, though. Because there's no footsteps. Let me see really quick if I drop this in here. Fonts and drop you there. Where is that going to end up? Apathy and I We better be breaking into my yard. That's probably just birds. Birds. Oops. What was that, please? It was in the A's. Try that. Uh, it's overwriting, isn't it? Overwrites loose files. Hmm. Let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, no, the game hasn't crashed at all. Pretty solid. No footsteps, sneak 100, yeah.
Don't worry, Noctis. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Now, this is literally stuff I do all the time, every single stream. I love fussing with the game. It's what we do. I was curious if putting something in there will maybe uh, get it to do what I'm trying to do. Make a pod that makes your footsteps sound like Squidward walking. That'd be pretty funny. I don't think anywhere in the sound settings in game now. It's only for mods, mod related things. Aha! Well, now I have footstep sounds. Hmm, okay. Aha! Good old Wavy got the thing to do the thing. I know, I probably am. I probably am screwing things up. But I actually managed to get the footstep sounds back in, so that's nice. And sorry, Noctis, it's already too late. I put the Dark Signal mod pack gun sounds in here. Wait. That does not sound like Dark Signal gun sounds. Did I turn those off? No, oh, they're there. I pulled up the I pulled up the AK before and shot it. It definitely is in. Let me just double check. Oh, they're in. Oh yeah, they're in. Okay. You dumb cunts! What? Keep it up, you motherfuckers! I didn't know G button has taunts. Cocksucker! <laughs> hey you! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. It's on the drop weapon. So I'm just sitting there and I go. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> That's so aggressive, dude. <laughs> That's so aggressive. I, I gotta be careful to not do that while I'm actually holding guns that I care about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're right. That dude just picked up the AK I dropped on the ground. I didn't even notice. I just... When you said that, when you sent that comment, I remember hearing the sound of the guy picking up the gun. That's hysterical. Who pissed in his goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> voice lines aren't Tarkov. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tarkov voice lines. Did that get in with the footstep sounds? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Nice work, bitch. See, I'm just fucking all sorts of things up here. I'm screwing everything up. Oh, brother. Are you trying to shoot at me? Whoa. Electrical anomalies are in the direction that I would like to go. Hmm. This is not great. I'll tell you that much. Mercenaries, yeah. Did I just actually smoke somebody? Minus 75 reputation. I just murked a duty guy. Why am I being shot at? I just smoked a duty guy. What? Yeah, nice shot. No kidding. I actually smoked that guy while my vision is literally fuzzy. What is going on? Wait, what is actually happening here? I was absolutely 100% getting shot at. From who, though? From who am I getting shot at? This guy. Mercenary. Big shot right there. 
I did get tagged once by someone. I see him. Hard to see. More shot. Come on, come on. He went down. Oh boy! Tell me that was a duty guy. Oh, a nice AUG! And a Beretta? Oh! Well, that guy died. Cool. Who else is gonna be here, though? Yeah, apparently it killed my teammate. That was the guy I smoked. Good lord. The fight is, over. is it over, you say? Alright. Yeah, don't worry, I know I'm bleeding. I don't like to use the med kits right away, because if I happen to have somebody else hanging around, and I get shot again, that would be a little stinky poo-poo. Five, five, six rounds, that's the other thing. Ah, shut your fucking mouth, hey! You dumb cunt! <laughs> Actually, five, five, six rounds probably won't work for an AUG now, will it? Pick this up. I got a Beretta and a Sig Sour. I do kind of like the Sig. What's the P229, though? 45. I don't want a 45 Sig. Eh, take this. I'd rather have a 9x19. Mercs are your favorite faction. The Mercs are an interesting faction to play because they're technically not very allied with that many people. But... The fun part about Anomaly, and the one thing that you get with the Mercs, is that you actually complete the mission to turn off the Brain Scorcher. And, uh... Used as a trait and experience menu. You actually get the opportunity to then get allied with the Loners... ...after you complete the, the um... ...the Brain Scorcher, and that actually has, uh... ...it makes the Mercenaries actually quite good, because they're allied with Clear Sky. 545 in a USP. Nice helmet. I'm gonna take that right now, though. Bad weapon. What is that weapon? Is it in any good condition? No, it is not. An AK-109. <clears throat> yeah, and excuse me, guys. Sorry, my allergies are kicking just a little bit, so. Started a new saving cyberpunk. Nice. Ninja Merc build. Yeah. Default anomaly voice lines drive you mad. <laughs> yeah, right now this has the English voice lines in. Which always fun. Alright, knock this sound good. We will be here. Hoping my vision will correct soon. I'm gonna keep smoking. My guy's got a fucking... I need a matchbox. I ran out of matches. Oh boy. Alright, well. Gotta do what we gotta do, yeah? Sorry, at least for you guys. You guys might actually have a better vision than I will, believe it or not. You guys actually literally have better vision than I do. Why does my... My game looks fuzzy with my current vision, and your guys... You guys are seeing perfectly. Dude, I'm out of here. I'm not fighting another fucking poltergeist. I'm not trying to deal with another one. You guys are literally killing my psi health right now. Damn it, dude. Alright. Let's try to take our time, I guess. Maybe go out this way. If I could kill the poltergeist, I will. But I have to find it first. Yeah, you're seeing it as well? Hmm, interesting. I mean, at least when I'm looking at my stream, my stream looks great. It's a little bit fuzzy, but it's not as bad as what mine looks like. Yeah, I know, I gotta be careful with the Psy Health. I'm tempted to take that Psy Block. I am tempted to take that Psy Block. I'm just gonna keep an eye on my Psy Health here. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna do it. 
Oh, bro, are you telling me I'm about to fucking start, like, getting faded right now? Oh, the side block is actually increasing my side health. Oh, hell yeah. I was hoping it was gonna do that. Well, you know what? A win is a win. My radiation is climbing too, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking thought that was gonna happen. I need to be very careful about how I use my medical supplies here. The guy's hungry again. Eat that canned corn I found. Mag's Redux HUD. I'm not sure what that would be. I actually kind of like that right there over in the corner. I could see how ex exactly how many mags I have. So you're quite useful, actually. Jesus. This is not easy. Damn it. Come on, buddy. Slow your roll. Got my vision back. Side block helped. And I've got it for like another thousand minutes. Come on, come on, come on. There's another. Yo, this guy's got some armor or something. I'm putting some shots on him and it's doing nothing. Alright, Maximus, take it easy, my guy. No, sorry, Doth Bruce. I didn't see your last message. I am... I am trying. I am, uh... A little distressed right now. Gotta deal with the mercenaries here. I was straight in your dome piece, brother. Go down. Gotta reload. A 50 cal. Yeah, that would be nice. I would have to go to the debug store for it, though. Dick. Oh my god, am I actually going to be able to survive? There's no way. I'm bleeding too bad. Use my last med kit. A black block with texture span? I don't know. Personally, I don't, if you're talking about the thing over in the corner, I don't mind that. I actually kind of like that because it gives me an actual visual representation of what's on my suit at the current moment in time. Oh, old ammo. Get rid of that. I really wish Anomaly never did old ammo. I really, really wish that was never a thing. No, we can't do that. I don't have enough medical supplies to heal myself after taking that shot. Yeah, the debug store. Exactly. You guys know how the debug store works. Alright, so again, we're gonna use the side block. Oh my fucking... Can I please just get the game to work the way I want it? Alright, back to what I was doing. Psy block, yes. Yes, Noctis and Hunters there are the guys who work on the mod pack. There's the side block. Eat the canned corn. Don't you for a second say that the mercs are actually taking shots at me right now. There is no chance in hell. There's no chance in a million years that the mercs are actually taking shots at me right now. I'm going to take this just a smidge slow because once my vision fades back up and I get over the swaying effect of the side block. Maybe I'll drop another quick save right here just so we're fine. 
I could take the shots at those mercs and deal with them. But I gotta get up a little bit closer first. Oh shit! Someone killed the poltergeist! <clears throat> well, ammo check. I thought that only tells you what's in the current mag. That one shows me, like, actually how many I have. Like, if I take off the one, uh, then it's only one there. I mean, I imagine if I have, like, a billion mags, then it probably might get in the way a little bit more. At the moment, I don't mind too much. I actually can't even see over on that corner of the screen anyway, because my fucking boom arm is in the way of my screen, so... This guy looks like he's got a freaking exoskeleton on. Or actually, he had a ghillie suit, didn't he? Oh, brother, reload, please. Stop swaying so much. Oh my god, please. He, I'm not doing any damage. Yeah, I got you, Nero. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, my only thing is it's literally on the corner of the screen that it's almost blocked by my stupid thing. Fuck off! Oh! Oh, oh! oh boy! Absolutely lasered that merc. Now I just got this guy left. And he's gonna catch one right in his dumb, stupid face. He definitely has an exoskeleton on. Okay, sneaky breaky, huh? The sneaky breaky, yeah. Here we go. Dropping the quick save because you guys know how this works. Should I try to knife fight him? Nah, he's got an exoskeleton on. There's no way I'm going to knife fight him. No, I'm gonna knife fight a guy in an exoskeleton. Do we gain? We gain such a chunk of XP for that. Let's see what this bastard had on him too. A little bit of stuff. A silenced Beretta. Uh oh. Fatal error. UI pop-up messages. Attempt to compare number with string. Uh oh. Whoopsie. Um, okay, I won't pick up the Beretta. Hmm, where did I have the uh, installation for this? The install, I have to add it. Can I not open that? Where's my notepad? Hey, notepad. Alright, notepad, sure. Don't open up. Why not? Why would I want you to open up? How about open with... Um, open with Internet Explorer. No, don't. I just want to see it. Come on. Script engine. Pop-up pickup. Interesting. Okay. Alright, we won't pick up the Beretta. That, yeah, it sure did silence me, that's for sure. That was a heartfelt fuck off, you're absolutely right. Welcome back, Alan, yeah. Yeah, that's tough stuff, brother. That is tough stuff. No way around that one. Alright, game. Oh, actually, it gave, did it give me a save for the... It gave me a crash save. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that looked like an engine bug. That one looked a little bit more serious. I'm just not going to touch that thing. It probably is a boomsticks. 
a, a boomstick issue, honestly. So we'll just be careful not to touch that. He doesn't even have it anymore, so who cares? Oxygen tank. Yeah. Take that grenade. He had a nice rifle, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Braxton Toast, welcome, welcome. Where was this other guy that I ripped an actual laser of a round straight through him? Look at this. Scavenger's junk box. How much is that? 17 kilos. What? 17 kilograms. My goodness. Old headlamp. Oh. Oh, interesting stuff here, too. Is that old ammo? It is not old ammo. 9 by 19 AP rounds. That's old ammo. We don't want that. Now. Give me that. Old ammo stays there. How about this? Eject the magazine. Unload that ammo. Old ammo. Don't want it. Don't want the old ammo. Yo. The VSS Merc. You know what? I'm going to have to probably trade a gun because I'm carrying way too much stuff right now. Actually, I'm just kidding. We're 37 kilos out of 58. You've got room. We've got room, boys. We've got room. All right. That deserves the quick save. Shit. Yeah, Alan, if you're still here, brother, I'm sorry that all went down, man. And now we we always wish things could be done differently after after the fact. It is unfortunate. Hope at least things are, you know. At least it's not like really fucking horrible. Oh, fucking shit. Given everything, it's about as bad as it gets, but you know. Try to work through it. Yeah, that's right. Gotta carry on, brother. Life is for the living. Gotta do it. Take the junk box. I wish it's so heavy. I don't have the wait for it. I don't have the lockpick set to open it. Uh, I could leave it there and maybe get it another time. Oh, shit. Can't ever really think about those things, headhunter, you know what I mean? Do the thing I killed by the anomalies. Uh-oh, that is scary. How am I supposed to get through this? How would you actually, in a million years, get through this? No! Come on, just do it again. Just do it again. Come on. This is scary. Cheers, my brother. Cheers. Yes, one for us and one for our friends. Who have gone on without us. This is some sketchy stuff right here, man. Hurry, quick. Uh. I 
hate when this- Oh my god, I got hit by the same one. Stupid curse is always on the screen. All right, hold on. Let me focus for a second. Okay. Holy smokes. Are you actually fucking kidding me? The same one. That is such a bad spot, dude. Fucking hell, man. Shit. Alright, now I'm mad. Yeah, fucking hell. This is just ridiculous. I cannot believe that one fucking anomaly has gotten me th three times in a row. Where the hell actually is it? Almost got killed by that one there. They're all, they're literally clustered all over the place there. That's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> all right, you joined at a good time. Nice 420 time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see second here. Got him. Got it this time. I was just stressing with those stupid anomalies at the front, and then that thing was... Yeah, if we were going to be trying to do it the other way, that thing was going to be chasing us through the tunnel. No bueno, no bueno. Sounds like a good plan, Das Bruce. That sounds like a good plan. Now I usually just throw my bolts and just hope for the best. Because if the dynamic anomalies and things are enabled, then they switch positions. Which I think is what happens. In most cases, I think that's that's enabled or not. I don't remember. <laughs> to Yantar we go. Oh, goodness, and then the Professor Zakrav is going to ask me for, Hey, can you give me 15000 to do this thing? Or Oh, actually, no, he's going to ask me for 20000 isn't he? Alan, what are you doing, my guy? Oh my god, it didn't get hurt. Oh, I didn't get hurt from the anomaly. Professor Zakrov, hello. 
I need to know about the brain scorcher, thank you. I do not have actually anywhere near enough money to be talking to this guy. That's a good point. Or a tracking device from the Great Swamps. Fuck that. Classified information from Agriproms. Not too hard. Any other work you want done? No. Okay. It was nice talking to you. So. Now we get to play our favorite part of the game, the waiting game, where we sit around and do missions as much as we possibly can. We try to get enough money for Professor Sakharov to make a helmet, and then after that, uh, we give Sakharov all this money, and then he sits there for another couple days. This is kind of, uh... Hmm. Man, anger problem. I wonder if the military will give me any interesting missions. You're neutral with the military, right? Uh, duty, yes we are. Mm -hmm. we're gonna need some cash, brother. Alan, I'm not sure what you were up to, my friend, but I'm not sure that a clock is the solution. Sometimes it is, but I'm not sure in this case. I'm not... I can't, Tosh, Bruce, we're gonna what shoot a you, bunch of loners? What do you want? I know, it's the duty mission that we're supposed to do. That would be, that would put us in such a bad position, honestly. It would screw our reputation, and we might piss off the loners, too. I wonder if we'd piss off the ecologist there, too. I'm gonna have to find out who's an ecologist and who's a loner, and then deal with the loners. Or maybe we could just do some other military missions. Two shots of gasoline, ouch. Dude, is this military guy on the radio really this angry? That's ridiculous. He's like incredibly angry. Drug making kit. Want nothing more than the drug making kit. <clears throat> That's so bogus. The actual duty missions tell me to go over to this place and kill loners. Definitely non-alcoholic. A hundred percent non-alcoholic. Oh shit, I forgot. I'm actually carrying a bunch of weapons right now. Totally forgot about my stamina. Any work you want done. Bandit faction patches. Kill some loners. Kill a mercenary in the army warehouses. That's ridiculous. Kill another stalker in Agaprom. You guys are so funny. Hey, Richard, take it easy. We'll be here when you get back. I'll be streaming for another... Ooh, we'll be streaming for another hour and a half at our current time frame. May or not been an absolute. <laughs> Cheers, Alan. Cheers, my guy. Cheers, everybody. If you are having some uh, definitely non-alcoholic beverages, okay? We don't drink alcohol here. Oh, dude, I'm running straight into anomalies. What is happening, my guy? I am losing my marbles. This is so dangerous. I'm gonna have to go south. Get around this stuff. Don't worry, Noctis. Yep, yep, yep. I'm aware. It's no trouble. It crashed when I picked up some weapon. Uh, it said something about a pop-up weapon. It could have been because of the sounds that I have installed. It could have been a, because of boomsticks. I'm not sure. 
But it's okay. Everything's fine. We're okay. Jägermeister's not alcoholic. No, no. Alright, where is this mission? Mission right out there. Sensitive documents for the professor. Now, there are bars that show that I have maximum stamina and maximum health. Hmm, interesting. A predator reference. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some canned corn. My guy is hungry. Absolute tastes like high octane. Absolute's good for mixing. Honestly, there's not very many vodkas that I really like. Even friggin' I have a, a bottle of Great Goose, and I don't even really like that that much, honestly. The one I really kind of, the the one I really only tolerate is Belvedere, and Belvedere and Grey Goose kind of are, they're supposed to be in the same category. But I don't know. A lot of vodka just has that, uh, that, like, nail polishy kind of, I don't know, acetone type taste to it. Very, ugh. <clears throat> I do prefer the dark liquors, though. That's just me. What am I walking into? Yo! Come on, brother, relax. All we have to do is take, like, five steps. You just gotta take, like, five steps. Come on. Why don't you sit and catch your breath, huh? Oh, I see what you're saying, Noctis. My guy is literally, uh, actually incapable of maintaining a thirst. Where am I actually supposed to go right here? I'm supposed to pick up documents. Where am I going, dog? Professor, what is this guy got me doing right now? Well, that's going to be tricky. There's an anomaly right on top of the place I have to go. <laughs> Alright, well. Um, yeah, I guess I can't really do that. Huh. Okay. Well, that kind of... That's a little stinky poo-poo. Maybe I'll wait for a blowout. Maybe it'll reset the anomalies and I can actually try to get that one. Because right now it's impossible to get. As soon as I try to go search for it, uh, the anomalies kill me. I really don't think I'm going to get up here and try to kill loners. That's going to be so bad. Howdy. Hey, Chief, are you an ecologist? Yeah, he is. Alright. A lot of ecologists here, usually. Sweet drinks. Gotta be careful, though, so the sugar will catch you. Bitch. It wouldn't matter, had other. It doesn't matter. Chunk of fuzz on top of my monitor. What the hell? Yeah, it literally doesn't monitor. I can't even do anything about that. Uh, hey. I'm just trying to look to see what what the damage would be if I were to try to do this military mission. If it's one or two loners, ah, uh, you know, you know, 
Ah. Uh, but if I have to kill like four or five, I'm not too sure. I just don't know. So how many actual loners are here? We've got ecologist, ecologist, loner, ecologist, and loner. Dude, not the kill cam. That's a bad time. That's a he's a loner too. I didn't notice that guy was a loner. Ah, uh, we're bleeding way too bad to save that one. That guy was a loner too. I thought he was an ecologist. What about this, Gordon? Well, you know what, Dyer's Bruce? We're at that point. We're at that point. Gotta get the cursor out of here. If the ki I need the kill cams to chill out for a second here. What is that in? What is the kill cams going to be in? P's, not the P's. I'm looking for K's. Kill cam. Kill cam duration. Smooth enter. Chance to trigger is 100%. Why don't we do that at like 20? Okay. Because I really need to be able to actually shoot these guys without the whole game stopping for a second. All right, we definitely lost some reputation there. But I think I did the mission. All top cocktail. How about that? Hey, bro. I am sorry, gentlemen. That is unfortunate. I am usually such a reputable person, but uh, that definitely. Hey, my reputation's still neutral. <laughs> Didn't lose any goodwill with the free stalkers, at the very least. And yeah, we completed the mission. Cool. Oh yeah, I need matches too. I do need matches. Well, you know what? It's unfortunate that I had to do that, but I had to do that, so. And now we've completed that mission, so what would be the next one? Oh, we can, we can return. Okay, perfect. And hand it in. He'll probably give us about 10,000, which is great. That'll be super helpful. A new profile picture. Ooh, look at you. And Alan, you're absolutely allowed to... You're, you can change your profile picture on Discord, too. You're more than welcome to do that, too. And you served you served your term. Only 6,000, you mother... I won't do it. 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 Okay, increase stamina recovery by four percent. You bet your ass, boy. Hell yes. An outdated version of the game engine? Are you sure? I have uh, one five two. I'm pretty sure. Um, I actually don't don't uh, know. It says 23, 11, 12, modified EXEs. I didn't change anything with the actual installation. All I did was download the new, I downloaded the, um, inside the installation stuff, the 6.2 mod pack, the whole thing, and then I downloaded the hot fixes. Yeah, I took it from this one. I took that from the Google Docs, and then I took the uh, this file, the update 6.2 hotfix. Those are the things I took. The modded EXEs. 
I don't know where those will be. You'll have to let me in on that one. I just followed the... I, I thought everything was going to be right here. I just took the mods and profiles off of this. That's it. I know, I, I, I was a little bit... I, I just didn't have enough time to really plan everything out for this week. So I definitely... I made this decision late to actually stream this anyway. Okay, so let's see here. Let me see what I have. Oh, yeah, I need to drop off bullshit. I have mutant parts. I need to go to butcher. And then I'm going to go back to the bar. Mono EXEs are available to download. Hmm. Okay. I could do that. I could do that. I didn't know you guys had Mono EXEs over here. Once again, download MO2, download patches and fixes. Well, you might have to help me out a little bit, Noctis. I'm not exactly sure where the uh, Mono EXEs are. So there's the mods and profile stuff, the MO2 things, the 152 patch. Might have to point me to it. Goodness. So I didn't have a lot of time. I set this I set this literally up all I set it all up today. And I was in the middle of doing like four or five things. This week has been actually fucking ridiculously busy. I've had so many things to do this week. And it's... There's still so many other things to do. I have so much crap going on. It's ridiculous. I'm barely keeping it afloat. For the most part. Oh, dude, no. Honestly, I need to get some money. I need to do that. Butcher, take this stuff. Take these things. Only 500 rubles, you fucking cheapskate. Got it down south and out there. Guy needs to eat. Deflect enemy bolts with a katana. Yeah, Matas, that's nice. That sure reminds me of Shadow Warrior. Uh, if you guys have never played Shadow Warrior, the new one, great game. Plays like Doom. So much fucking fun. I was thinking about that game the other day. I played it when it was on Game Pass. It was on Game Pass, I think, for a little while, and I played the shit out of it. Shadow Warrior 2, I think, is supposed to be the brand new one. Oh, you're bugging out. I'm not fighting fractures. No, no. Uh-uh, no, I'm not fighting fractures. No, 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 no siree. Not happening. Uh-uh. No, sir. Do not. I think he just got hit by an anomaly. I have to go this way, though. Yeah, Cyberpunk's been on the wish list for a long time. I just never got back around to thinking about it, because it had such an absolutely, uh, just horrible release, really. Dude, I do not want to fight fractures even a little bit. That guy's at 69% health. I might just try to slip through him real quick. Nice and easy. Here we go. Ah, uh, Matas is playing Cyberpunk. And he just recently, I think, believe got the uh, recent DLC. I thought that's what he's been playing the most of recently. Yeah, my buddy got uh, Cyberpunk, and he said it was really good. I expect, I kind of expected it to actually become quite good afterwards, and I'm definitely interested in getting it. I am... Waiting for another sale. I'm no I know they're gonna have one soon. Probably in this what would be the Steam Spring sale? Should be a spring sale soon. I bet Cyberpunk will probably go on sale then. Well, maybe I'll pick it up then. Alright, Chief. Let's catch our breath. I'm getting fucking irradiated like crazy right now. 
Dude, the radiate the radiation is not stopping. Oh my fuck. I'm completely ira- I- what? I'm completely fucking irradiated. Oh, dude, come on. I- do I need a fucking energy drink or something? Please. Just can you walk for like five seconds? I have mutants I need to kill. Oh, you son of a bitch. I am so done for. Just show me where the fucking mutants are. They're north. Where the hell? That energy drink didn't do anything. There are no mutants here. Wait, the spring sale? Shh, no. Wait, really, Rex? The steam spring sale's on? Wait, is it on or it happened already? Oh my shit! Now through March 21st? Oh! Wait, really? Oh shit! Oh! 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 You don't say! You don't say! Well... Huh. I guess I might be buying Cyberpunk. Cool. Okay. I didn't even know the spring sale started. Sick. And March 21st. So March 21st is the Thursday. Oh, it must have started yesterday, yeah? Oh, sick nasty. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 50 bucks, was it, for the, the game and the DLC? That's not so bad. You can do that. Samurai building cyberpunk, yeah. Yeah, what's the... I forget the the one build that people did, the Netrunner stuff, and you, you were, like, literally unbelievably powerful. All you know about cyberpunk is the Sandest fan. Wait, Sandest of... I thought it was the Sandest, Dan. I know what you're talking about. I watched the... the um... The show, the Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Good fucking anime. If you guys have never watched that, it does get a little sad. It does get sad for sure. It's crazy, but very good. Very good. Yeah, Grim, you want to watch a Cyberpunk series? Watch Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Very good. Yeah, the Sandest Den. It's it, it was in the show. It was a mod that stopped time, so that you can move faster than everybody else. All right, was it Sandest, Sandevistan? Sandevistan? Is that what it is? Mm, okay. You know what I might try, guys? I'm thinking there's no mutants where I went. I might try going up more north and coming and wrapping around. You did watch Edge Runners, okay. That's the only one I know of, as far as, like, cyberpunk stuff. That was actually, like, fully inspired by the whole entire thing. Really great show, actually. Sad. <clears throat> Uh-oh, I'm out of barley water. That's a problem. Oh. All right, Alan. Well, take it easy, my guy. There we go. Come on, baby. Give me through it. Uh. Fucking crap. So many damn anomalies. Alright, boys and girls. Hold on one second. I need just a very short intermission. 
I will be uh, basically right back. I'm going to fade out our stalker music and fade in a little lo-fi here. And I will return momentarily, okay? Not too long, don't worry. It'll just be like a minute or two. another uh, definitely non-alcoholic beverage. Check steam. Uh. Matas, don't tell me you bought cyberpunk. You don't tell me you gifted me cyberpunk. I'm here. I have new items. I have some gift cards. Pending gifts. You're shit me. Matas, my guy. Did you really? Fucking hell. I'm gonna decline the gift. <laughs> Kidding. Thank you, yo. Oh shit, dude. Cyberpunk. You got me the fucking ultimate edition? Dog. Holy shit. Thank you, yo. Oh, we're definitely going to be playing that. We could play it on stream next week. What do you guys think? You want to play Cyberpunk next week on stream? You can do that. I have no problem with it. I've never played it before. We could play it together. <laughs> I was about to say, brother. We could do it on stream next week. Why not? Okay, well. Uh, this mission is getting pretty interesting out here with this fucking mutant shit. Either we get very, very irradiated, or we have to deal with a billion gravity anomalies. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna try running no mods on it. At least the very first time I run through it. I feel like that just cheapens it. I mean, I totally understand with Bethesda stuff like that, uh, all the RPGs and things, you know, Skyrims and Fallouts, everybody mods the shit and piss out of them, but... I always like to get a nice, clean landscape the first time through, so that if I ever feel like playing it again, I can really go hard and just absolutely tear the game apart, but... Ah, don't worry, Matas, I've, I've freaking built mods by hand before, I'll be fine if I need to, but... Yeah, I'm not going to bother modding it the first time through. Only until something probably pisses me off and I'm like, Well, fuck, I'm going to fix it! That's typically how it goes, but... Yo, there's a weird effect on the screen. It's like an orange peel effect on the screen. Lots of bandits over there at the flea market. Hey, Murdered Innocents, welcome! 
you're absolutely right. Stalker is still is the go to modding, and that's just because it was, it was a good starting point, but there was so much more room for improvement. So much more room for improvement. This is sketchy. And look at this. I literally just find the path and I just walk right through it. Oh, I totally forgot too. Sorry, I know we're listening to friggin' like... Goddamn elevator music in here. You want me to leave the lo-fi on? <laughs> I was about to say, I was I was just about to flip it. You want me to leave it on, Matas? I can leave it on. I got no problem with that. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's nice and relaxing. Good background music. Game looking better? I don't know, Marty. I don't know. I don't know. Right now we're playing the mo the Nuts mod pack. These guys put on a reshade, and actually it looks pretty good. It's actually the, the aggressor reshade, but maybe they tuned it themselves. I don't know. Those look good. The UI design I like. I do like the UI design. Okay, so let's see. We should be... Okay, we are not even fucking remotely close to anything that we really should be. It says that there's an enemy over here. Oh, Zomberoni. You don't say the Zomberoni. This might actually be the enemies that I have to kill. Just both those shots. Put the knife on him. What ecologist saw me stab a zombie? They're not even paying attention to me, so you know what? I'm just gonna give them the business. Give them the business! Mm. Did he just get up? Okay, strength two. Nice. Exactly, that's Bruce. The nice, the nice elevator music while you're being absolutely killed, absolutely mauled to death by a chimera. Ah, oh, thank you for coming by, Mernus. Appreciate it. I hope you have a good weekend, my guy. Better some creepy ambient. I usually play the stalker music in the background while you play some stalker. Is there still more? Oh, there is. There's another zombie over here. Let's see if I can deal with him. Come on, die. 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 Arrgh. Hey, give us a kill cam there. Okay, that was apparently not the enemies we actually had to deal with. We were not. Never mind, it was. Ha ha ha. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and return to the hunter rats. <laughs> Don't like the font. The font, I, I go back and forth with it. I like what, I like what they're trying to do, but there's certain parts that are definitely a little bit more difficult. Like, um, I mean, I can read the tips really no problem uh but when it comes to like seeing the tags here that i'm fucking pointing at my screen like you guys can watch where i'm pointing at the shit here like the numbers some of that stuff's a little bit hard to read i'm listening all right my test no worries Oh, with YouTube's compression, there's no way you guys are going to see it. There's no chance. You'll never see it. No way. Especially because I'm actually technically playing at 2K, so it actually it, it presses things down even more. You guys will never be able to see it, but even I'm having a little bit of trouble sometimes reading some of the numbers. 
Like sometimes the fives and the threes look kind of similar. The twos, they look like Zs. Some of the things are just a little hard to read here and there. But 100%, the YouTube compression is 100%, yeah. I've always got something interesting for people like you. Hey, bro. I did, however, get for you guys. I fixed it. So actually, I, I've done a bunch of different things uh, lately with stream stuff and YouTube stuff. So I actually put in my old, my old graphics card that I used since I started YouTube into my stream computer. And that's what's actually rendering the stream right now. I've also been using that to record my VR series as well as... What was the other change I did? Oh, yeah, I made the stream run at 60 frames per second. Before, it was actually at 30 frames per second, so the stream was actually a little bit under the normal frame rate, so I jumped it up to 60, and uh, it's like pretty good. With the 60 frames per second and 1080p running with the hardware encoder on the graphics card, the stream is, is perfect, dude. It's perfect. The stream is actually not an AV1. Uh, it's actually an H.264. AVC, not even HEVC. I can't stream in HV, HEVC or AV1. I can stream on AV1 with my gaming computer that we're running the game on. I have the RTX 4070 in there and that can run AV1. The other card can't, but for some reason Streamlabs actually won't let me use HEVC for the encoder. It only allows me to use uh, H.264, the AVC encoder. For whatever fucking reason, I have no idea. I was actually a little bit annoyed about that because if I had HEVC, it would give me another layer of like just overhead for the compression so it wouldn't make the thing look so fucking bad over the YouTube compression. But, you know, it be what it be. For the stream of Cyberpunk, yeah, Matas, we'll literally stream it next week so you can let me know whatever you want to know. AVC1 is not AV1. Yes. Yeah. AV1's actually a completely it's like a brand new encoder. I had it. Like I like I mentioned uh, on my computer, I have AV1 and I record when I do recordings, I record normally uh with my gaming computer unless I'm doing VR, then I have to use the other computer to record, but like when I'm playing True Stalker or something like that, I use the gaming computer, the main computer that I have and um it can actually record an AV1, but then it was nice because I could actually lower the bit rates a little bit and make the file sizes less, but still maintain the same clarity and detail. But the editing software I have didn't support it at all. <laughs> so I couldn't even use it. It was it was useless at that point. But it's very nice for streaming because it maintains a lot of detail for not a lot of bit rate. So I can keep the stream's detail up without having to push a stupid bit rate. You know. Do more in wavy streams. We talk to him and really don't pay attention to the game. Well, that's what we do, man. <laughs> 1440p. Holy smokes. You guys should be at least at, <laughs> at, least at 360. Because I think if you go lower than that, my audio sounds bad. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> You're staring at blocks and lines. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Yeah, I totally forgot what we were even doing here. It's starting to get dark. I was thinking about when it's only 1500. Yeah, we still got time. Let's see if these duty guys have any other missions that we can maybe do. Neutralize a bandit in the army. You're real fucking funny. Defend Rostock from the mercenaries in the army warehouses. Truck Cemetery Bandit. Yes, dude, the assassination missions pay. They pay. It's the best right now? Interesting. I mean, there's so many layers to it, it's always hard to say, you know what I mean? Should we got to go down south to get the truck cemetery restrictor? I usually always recommend for like higher quality stuff. You can sh you can use the 1080p setting just fine, but 
I always feel like because Stalker always has... Stalker is such a problem to record. That I always tell people to use 720p. Because just the top end of 720p will just be closer to what, like... What you can actually see when you get everything across the network through YouTube and so on. The 360 I would think is good just because if you go too low then the audio starts to cut out too. The, the audio quality dips too. But I also don't want to, you know, run your guys' data rates too hard too, you know. You guys do what you need to do. You do the meeting at the same bar. <laughs> Like Minecraft and Stalker, yeah. Yeah, the assassination missions do sometimes complete themselves. But, I mean, sometimes they also, like, you start it and then it says, hey, they're in this map, and then all of a sudden they're not in that map anymore, so. Like I said, he's gonna go into Dark Valley and he's gonna go to the Dark Valley base. The bandit. I gotta be fucking fast. Unless the military guys are out there. Dude, I keep forgetting to drop off my fucking guns. I really need to do that. Did I drink that energy drink yet? Shit. Yeah, we're gonna use the energy drink. What's up with the font? So the font's just different. That's all it is. The guys who made the mod pack wanted to do something different. And it's not too bad. It's it's interesting. I have I go back and forth with it. I was saying it earlier. There's some things that it's it's definitely a little hard to actually read when you get like the numbers on the ammos and things like that. Sometimes it gets a little bit scrunched down or it's hard to read. But other times it's not too bad. They're working on it. It's a work in progress. 720 by 60 is probably the best one in general. I don't usually recommend jumping up to 1080p just because it's trying to give you the higher detail. But because of the bit rates and the YouTube compression, it just ends up looking a little bit shittier than you really would expect. Other games, it might be better, but Stalker at 1080 Stalker stream at 1080p is just tough. You know. having to run 720p. <laughs> you watch on 1080? Okay. I mean, if it's if it's fine and you're good with it, you know, more power to you. I usually recommend just jumping down to the 720p, so, because, like, the bit rates will jump in and out. Like, if I stand still, you'll start seeing the grass and everything, but as soon as I start moving, it fades and just looks, you know, it gets all muddy. That's how it is typically with recording. I assume the streaming's kind of the same way, but I don't know exactly. Oh, brother, you guys are here? You motherfucker. I thought military were gonna be there. Damn. Yeah, what data rates, right, Doss Bruce? What data rates? <laughs> nah, yeah, my thing was exactly like I said, guys. With the with the way the way Stalker records, the system has to capture the screen, then encode it down to a file type that it can send over the network, and then it sends it to YouTube, and YouTube sends it to you, basically. All that process, it has to make this picture look somewhat decent. And that's where with 1080p, it's trying to make it look good. But also then when like things happen and things move, it starts to get really muddy and blurry. It doesn't always happen that much with recordings because I record at... Um, right now I'm streaming at 7.5 megabytes per second. That's the bit rate that I stream at. When I record, I record at 35. Five megabytes per second. So I have five times the data when I record. Just because Stalker's such a bitch to record. It really is. 
and YouTube's compression is is even worse. Like people have said that before on the YouTube channel. Like they're like, "Oh, why does your game look so? Why does the game like keep looking so muddy and shit?" It was like, oh, "There's nothing I could do." Like my actual raw video that I export from the video editing software looks pretty good, and then it gets to YouTube and it just gets all fucked up. Yeah, exactly, Murdered Innocence. That's generally how it is. 1080p is is fine for other things, in my opinion. Just not Stalker. Stalker's just not that good. And in streams in general, because 720p is still decent. It's still a nice picture. But it's not like, it's not trying to be as detailed as 1080p. But no difference for 720 and 1080. Yeah. That's the only thing. 1080p tries to be more detailed than 720. So if it's not able to be as detailed, then it it kind of can get a little sort of jarring. But again, I, I don't actually watch my own stream anymore. Um, I used to have a monitor, but I don't anymore. That I'd be able to like actually visually see what's happening on the the legitimate stream. And sometimes YouTube will also choose the stuff for you, too. I was about to take a drink of this beer, and I have a freaking cap on it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, bandits. These guys, these guys are about to catch some SKS bullets. I missed. Come on, Chief. You don't want this smoke, I'm telling you. Fuck. Just barely gave it, able to get out of the way with that. I gotta move. I didn't quick save either. I like to live on the edge. That guy actually killed me with the one buckshot? That was a 20 gauge, too! Oh, man! The middle finger, yeah, you like that one? <laughs> I don't know if the character actually took bites from the bread. That's a good question. Oh, I have to use my fucking energy drink. To get down there, and then my guy's gonna get hungry, too, while we're sprinting full speed all the way down there. Yeah, did he take bites out of the bread? Technically, he did. Yeah. I murdered innocents. Thank you for coming by, my friend. I appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Shotguns are OP. Mm, yeah, well, that guy kind of blasted me with the 20-gauge of all things, too. Nah, nah, head under. I need the 10 gauge. I need the 10 gauge. Yo, those clouds are hustling. What? Now they just stopped. That was trippy. Alright, you know what? Let's, this time around, remember to quick save when we get down there, okay? How about that? Nah, I want the 10 gauge. I want the 10 gauge. I need the 10 gauge with the brass, the brass shells. So I could go turkey hunting. <laughs> nah, that's exactly right, Das Bruce. Why use the F5 when I can sprint down here again and again? Just do it over and over. Now these bandits are in for it now. I'm not going to give them a break this time around. You know what I also need a little bit? I just need a little bit, okay? Just a tad. Just a touch. And I'm not going to give him a chance here. I'm going to take the shot as soon as I get it. Can't see anybody. I think they might have been spooked already. Nope, they don't. 
Damn it. Thought I had the headshot. Well, that one got him. Come on, game. Give me the game back. That wasn't my mission, was it? I don't know if it was or wasn't. Let me just double check really quick. Nope, it wasn't. How many bandits are here, though? That's a good question. Back up just a little. Do a little end around. So many shipping containers here. There's so much cover. I don't see where he went. I just did a complete end around on him. It should be one more guy. It tells me he's right there. Now there's got to be two more, maybe. What do we guys say, huh? A little sneaky breaky action? A little sneaky breaky action? He's right here. Right in front of us. Is this gun loaded? No, it's not. Oh, get to smoke, boy. Ah, uh. like, like I was about to say, smooth like butter. Oh, good, he has marijuana. And the scientist potion. I don't even know what that is. Oh, and a Russian playboy. Yo, eject that mag. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that shit, boy. What you think this is? Where was that other body? There's still people around here, I think. My thing's still beeping. Where was that other guy I smoked? Was it this one? Yo, what was that PPSH that he had on him? Look at this thing. Bandolero. What an interesting weapon. And a KS-23 wolf. If that's what they were shooting at me with. I mean... I mean... Good lord, man. I'm taking it. Oh, give me that four... Wait, hold on. The 412. Eject the magazine and unload the ammo. Is it old ammo? I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Alright, perfect. Did that. Here we go. Back to the bar. Because I gotta put some stuff away anyway. He got sh got shanked, bruv. Oh, he... <laughs> Holy shit, I've been stabbed. Oh, by the queen, I have been stabbed. Yeah, that poor bastard. He was just sitting there waiting. He was waiting for me to come over and take his life. Now I'm telling you, man, the 10 gauge. I know it's not shit in front of the four board, but the 10 gauge is some stuff. That's some serious stuff right there. Oh, uh, yeah, hold on. I want that AUG. I want that KS-23. I like the AS Val. I'm going to sell that rifle. Oh, that's the Beretta that crashed my game. I'm going to keep that Beretta. Ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, yeah, mmm. I hope I can put that Beretta somewhere. Can I sell it? <laughs> I hope I can sell the Beretta. Keeps crashing my game. Uh. Because, Maximus, it's not that simple. It's not that simple to remove old ammo. What 
what you have to do for that is, of course, remove it completely. But then anytime the game wants to spawn ammo in an enemy's inventory, it's going to spawn practically old ammo. So you have to get rid of that. And then it's also the possibility that the guns that they have in their inventory that they spawn with have old ammo in them. So there's a, a lot more work that goes into it than just, you know, removing old ammo. And yeah, I fucking hate it more than anything. I hate it more than anything. The old ammo gets me so mad. I've I've literally the I think I've been I've been playing Anomaly for I don't even know how many freaking years. For how many hours? Literal days worth of time. And I don't use the old ammo ever. Like I've used it twice, probably. At that point, it's so little, it means nothing. I'm donating that. Barkeep, I know why you won't take my guns. And you know what? You're gonna take my guns now. Punk. Buy my guns. Thank you. Alright, what about all that ammo? I gotta uh, take all that ammo. Let that ammo go. These magazines go. And my 19. Hey, a Coca-Cola. When did I get that? Wow, dude. Mil the friggin' Russian Playboy. I could see that picture all the way out here. Uh, these upgrade kits. And now my 39. That's fine. That's fine. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Put this away. 9 by 19. Put that away. Okay. That looks good. I don't have any medical supplies, really. We're definitely light on medical supplies. Okay, let me also load our magazines a little bit. These aren't looking great. Does this even have a magazine in it? No, it doesn't. There it is. Beautiful. Inventory is dark. I mean, the display is dark. It's also... Wow. Got something interesting. The guys were telling me before if there's too many things in there, it slows down the game, and they weren't kidding. Holy crap. Take a look at the frame rates, guys. Whoa. That's nuts, man. I didn't think that was going to be that bad. Holy crap. They changed the inventory. I kind of like the layout. I don't mind it too much, but boy, wow, that frame rate really takes a tank right there. Hey, Jim, welcome. A mod that does it? Mmm. I feel like that's good. It's gonna change so much. Now, uh, zero percent sale condition. Wait, zero percent? I forget what happens to zero percent. I always set it to one. Yeah, I always set it to one. Hey, boy. You're experiencing gamma with your stash. <laughs> Does it affect stashes, too? How did that get in there? Oh, wait, no, I put that in there. <laughs> I was about to take that 74 with the EOTech. Because I thought it spawned in that stash. Ah, no, no, no. No, Matas, you really... Yeah, yeah, no, you cannot fuck around with the police no more in Cyberpunk. Uh-uh. A 5% peach beer. Ooh, fun. Hey, bro. Oh, damn, dude. It actually cuts your frame rate. Shit, is it because it's, it's picture in picture? It's rendering picture in picture? That's gnarly, dog. $50? Dollars? Dollars? Why are there dollars? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> a thousand a thousand plus items. That's a lot of items, huh? Dude, am I not gonna be able to sleep because I'm irradiated? That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? Right? Let me take a look. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Wait, did I complete that mission too? 
What did they pay me? I got 31,000 rubles right now, but I need to go to S Professor Sakharov to get the Psy Helmet. So we have to be a little careful about how much money we spend. Um, let's just go to the medic and get ourselves all cleaned up. Maybe buy some medical supplies and then take a little nappy nap. How's life? Please to tell. Not great, brother. Okay, perfect. Got some medical stuff. Get some supplies here. No, dude, that's way too much. Okay, 22,000. I think we still actually can go to Professor Sakharov and get the Psy Helmet and have two grand left. I have some stuff to sell to the technician too, but... The Firebase website hosting? Hmm... I don't know if I've used website hosting for Firebase before, Headhunter. I've used data servers from Firebase before. Hey, <laughs> join a duty. My guy wants to sleep till 11 a.m. Damn. Oh, shit, goody. It looks like maybe an admission and a Psy Storm hit. That's actually perfect. Um, water. Need water. Because that mission out there was impossible to complete with the way that the anomalies were set up. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Empty canteen I really don't want. But... Let's have another drink so my guy's stamina isn't out of control. Buy and use cocaine. Mm. Don't sleep so much. There was a little bar there that had red dots and then green dots. And I, I was in the red, not in the green. I don't know. I gave my guy a good nap. I'm going to put this in here because I have an empty canteen. I'm going to go over to the water thing and get some water. If I can, I think I can, but... Bargy. How's it going? You only have one can of beans? Dog, what are you doing? One can of beans? Is this a joke? What are the... Red beans? You want me to buy red beans? Are we serious? Sliced beets? What? Buckwheat porridge with sausages? Pearl barley porridge with pork? Rice porridge with beef? Okay, well, that seems a little bit, uh... Sprat paste. Yo! Holy shit! And 600 calories worth! Holy fuck! What is this? Cod pate? What the f can of mystery food tourist breakfast? Oh, you have a tourist breakfast. Give me that shit. Close the bean factor. Uh, they must have. He's only got one damn bean. Hey, Rattlehead, welcome, welcome. Do I need to eat more? Fuck. Let me see if he has some bread. Buckwheat's pretty good with meat, really? Buckwheat with sausage. I've never. I've never. <laughs> Yo, barkeep, you gotta have some simple ass bread. I'm about to buy some so Not a pack of old meat, you ding dong. I want some bread. Just some stupid freaking bread, dog. Please. Please. My boy's hungry right now. Yo, my boy's still hungry. Barkeep. <laughs> I need some f <laughs> I need some more food, damn it. Oh my god. I'm gonna need something big right now. Um dog chops? Yeah, sure if I can. 
dog. Will this help me out at least? Cut my hunger? Thank you. Alright. Oh, my death meter just went up a little. Well, so let's go visit that, um... That water pump and get some more water. The Eastern Europe dude is gay. <laughs> the food of the working man. Yeah, right. All right, uh, the Nuts mod pack is a bit more uh, on the hardcore side of things. They definitely take things to a little bit uh, of a different area. They change up the way the mutants work, change up the way side damage works. Also do a lot of work. I mean, they do a lot of the reshades. They got the boomstick, sharp sticks, and so on in there, you know. They change up the way the radiation works. There's all sorts of crazy freaking anomalies in here. Lots of good stuff. Oh, shit. The death meter went up again. Is it because I'm drinking irradiated water? Do I have to go boil my water? Dirty water. Ewy. Dirty. What happens if I go over here? Do I need a kettle? It says extinguish. I need a kettle, aren't I? Alright, fuck. To use the Adkiva tabs? Ah. Uh, well, they're like six grand. So, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm gonna see if- I wonder if I can buy a pot. I wonder if Barkeep has a pot that I can boil it. There's gotta be something like that. Right click on the canteen, you think? I'm gonna take the clean water canteen with me, just in case. Um... I- I guess we would have to have something. I don't think we could just straight up use the canteen right there. This. Mug. No. Definitely not a mug. Not the thermos and not the iron mug. Widespread use with the iron mug. What would the iron mug do? Purify the... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how we would do that. I don't remember exactly. I thought we would have to use a kettle or a pot. To boil the water at a campfire. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Are you gonna head out, my guy? I'll take it easy. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hey Finn, welcome. Ah, uh, you're catching you're catching me just on the, the latter end of the stream. We're streaming for another 30 minutes here. I got a hard stop in 30 minutes, so I gotta check out then. But I'm glad you could come by for a little bit. Yeah, what, what do we do? So, we don't have to- we can't just walk up to it and then just boil the water, yeah? In fact, actually, we can. We can just walk up to it and boil it right in the canteen. That easy. That easy. Like it's nothing. Join duty. Protect the world from the zone. If this was my alarm clock, I would be- I would have fucking anxiety or something. Just straight up propaganda. As my alarm clock. Attention stalkers. We need volunteers for dangerous but well-paid missions. Come to the bar! No, no, Maximus walked the potato. He's all good, he walked the potato. Just gotta make sure the potatoes walked, that's all. Join hey duty. Protect the world from the zone. Join duty. <laughs> Makes you want to join freedom. <laughs> it gives you more water? More purified water? Oh, I have boiled water. <gasps> oh. Oh, boiling doesn't even help it that much. It still gives me radiation. Ah. 
Ah. Ah. Oh. What? <sighs> they were here. Ah, oh, it's five grand. That's not too terrible. So hold on a second. Do I just drop it on or do I have to use it? What do I do? Wait, add to water. Add to water. Add to wheel? What? What did I just do? I don't even know how to do this. Um... First, the water combined with a special type of alcohol is boiled at a very high temperature for purification. Afterwards, cool. What? If I have doubts, I can always use Adquit tab. What? I can use I can purify it with purifying pills. How do I actually do this? I can't just drag it onto the water. If I use it, I use the thing. For disinfecting water. Use two tablets. If I use it, so hold on. Let's just quick save in, in, in case I screw something up. My guy just popped the tabs. Yeah, it didn't purif purify. Friggin'. What? What do I gotta do here? Oh, yeah, of course, Finn. You can always watch it later. It'll upload afterwards. Purification tabs are out. Just give me more clean. Right. I'm not sure. Selection wheel. Yeah, so that's not important. Do I have to go back to the fire to do the purification? Or do I need the dirty water and then to use the tablet and then to boil it? Add to wheel. See, yeah, that's not helping me. I wonder... Oh, I can't drop it. It's full of water now. Huh. I wonder if it... Oh, if I have to use the tab with the dirty water and then I boil it. Would that be the process? I guess, maybe? I don't know. I'm confused. Hmm, confusing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will have to, uh... Should work with boil water. I mean, if I use the pills, then they just get used. Unless, do I need something else besides the... These? Intended for disinfecting water. That's what it says. But if I use it, it just puts it in my... Boil the water, then put the tablet. Yeah, that's all. We've already boiled the water. Yeah, I can't drag the tabs on. It won't do it. Yeah. Curiosity has the better. Let's open. Let's get a. Where to be? Um, drink. An empty canteen. And then let's fill it with dirty water. Unboil the water. Yeah, right. Should be able to drag it on to. I would guess that would be. Maybe I have to do it with the dirty water first, though. So here we have boiled water and dirty water. Yeah, no, I can't drag on to any of the waters. Unless I need something else. Do I need, like, purifying tablets instead of the Agatha tabs? Even though it, it does technically say that it should be used for um, purifying water. Or disinfecting water, right? I don't learn that's not how it is. Hmm, okay. 
Yeah, might have to look into that one, Noctis. I'm not sure. I... I thought that the drag would do it. I don't know. I mean, it's alright. We have boiled water, so... The only add-ons that I have are the monolith taunt, so this one, the dark signal gun sounds, and then the footstep sounds. So it's all sound files. Actually, it's all sound files. That's it. It's nothing else. That's the only thing I've put in. Alright, let's see here. So... With our new day, let me see if I can do a couple things. We still have a couple minutes here, my friends. Let me see what else we can get done for the day here. Let's talk to maybe one of the duty guys. General Voronin. See if he has any interesting work for us. Oh, you know what? What am I even doing? Why don't we just look at the task board, yeah? Refresh tasks. Colonel Petrenko. Storm the enemy in the army warehouses. You're really fucking funny. Next task. Defend Rostock in garbage against the bandits. You bet your ass I will do that. Kill a freedom stalker in the army warehouses. You're really funny. Yeah, there's nothing else really. Why doesn't Barkeep give me anything? Am I too far away from him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. A little bit too far away from Mr. Barkeep. Where he can give me some, maybe killing some mutant things to do. Come on, Barkeep, where's my stuff? Oh, this guy wants me to do some. Deliver a package to a free stalker in Cordon. Oh, search and rescue. Taken hostage by some bandits in garbage. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not? Hey, why not? We're going to garbage. Let me just make sure I have a reasonable amount of SKS ammo. Let me grab a couple more bullets. Why not read your messages? Because they freaking can't. <laughs> Didn't Matas tell you earlier that engineers can't read? And especially if it's in if it's using letters that I can't fucking <laughs> All I know is Vrag Monolita. <laughs> Vrag Monolita. That's about all I could do there. Uh, the other stuff, you're on your own for that one. Asking engineers to read. You guys are so funny. Hey! Can you do this documentation? Please. Documentation? Might as well freaking hired an English major. Let me pull up chat GBT. <laughs> Dude, it's so weird. It's five. It's almost six o'clock and the sun is still out. It's crazy. Yeah, so I, just so you guys know, yeah, we... Still technically have daylight savings here over in the States. We just hit it, so we moved an hour forward. I started the stream at 2 p.m. today because I wanted to stream earlier. Normally I stream at 3 o'clock, but because of daylight savings, you guys would probably, it would now then be at 2 o'clock. Um, but today's stream actually would have started even an hour earlier than that for you guys. Speaking of Don Spruce, are you supposed to be at work, brother? I thought you were telling me you were going to not get back from work until I ended my stream. 
learn that, yeah, I know, fucking hell, I would love to learn, what is it, acrylic? Yeah, that would take me a while. Need purifying pills, so not the stuff that I bought. I bought the, um, Actva, the Akva tabs. Akva tabs? So it is a different thing that I need for the water. Oh, please, don't give me fucking zeros and ones. Cyrillic? Cyrillic. Not acrylic. Cyrillic, right? I'm saying that right, aren't I? Yes. Yeah, I don't know that alphabet. I was trying to learn it at one point in time. I actually was trying to learn it, but... I don't know, learning languages is very difficult for me. I have no fucking idea. It's because I'm a stupid, ignorant American, so... Change time at the end of the month? Yeah, we- ours just changed. I had no- I had no idea that it actually changed. It, it happened, I, I woke up one day, and I'm staring at my phone, I'm like, oh. Why the fuck- I'm like, oh, it's 10 o'clock. I was in bed for a long- I was asleep for a long time. And then I get up, it's like, I- I was in bed for a little bit, and then I get up and I'm looking at my stove, and I'm like, why does the stove say that it's 9.30? And my phone says it's 10.30. I was like, holy shit, we jumped an hour ahead. So, yeah. Yeah, Matas, that's why it was an hour earlier. Yep. Or an hour earlier than you guys were expecting. So, at the very least, just uh, keep an eye on things. I'll always stream around 2 to 3 p.m. My time, Eastern Standard Time. So just... Never hurts to just double check. Oh, motherfucker. Shite. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I killed a couple boars with nothing but a PM. It never hurts just when I do my when I do my stream just to double check the time zones and things like that. Yeah, ours ours jumped. I don't know, I don't know what happens with everybody else, fortunately. <laughs> Cut it at 1800, six, a six plus, really? Okay. Six plus, so yeah, if I start, I start at three, that starts at nine for you? So that's late, yeah. Oh no, Noctis. I love the rebounder anomaly. That's one that's my favorite one. Stupid ignorant American. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, real no kidding. I know the PM the PM is nice, right? Okay, so there's supposed to be bandits over here that I have to destroy. Oop, got one. Got two. I saw a third, too. Nice shot there. Reloading. Shit. Ah, why didn't I have ten rounds in the SKS? Come on, die already. I gotta use a bandage now. Hey, I got bartering level 2 for some reason. I gain more trust among duty soldiers. Nice. Yo, sick. We actually did it. Game work. Does it, the game is working pretty well. Nice talking to you. Hold your weapon. How about you? Sh Where did that boar come from? That thing ran me over like a dump truck. 
Yo, what the fuck? I'm five hours behind? Okay. Yeah, if you have my time zone on your phone, then you should be updated. M1 Garand, I wish. That, dude, that thing ran me over. This mod pack does, in fact, have the magazines. Yep, yep, yep. Right, he did want me to holster that weapon. What a jerk off. I can't believe that thing actually just ran me over. Alright, got the one. The one is over there. I saw the other one there. There's a third. Alright, let's see. Well, this guy's gonna probably spot me if I don't take him now. That's two headshots, and... Yikes! Alright, that guy, I didn't see him coming. That was a beautiful shot right there, that follow-up. Nice. Let's keep an eye out for a boar about to literally run up on us. Oh, dude, please, let me search the body. I want their money and stuff. <laughs> this guy was right here. I don't want to take their weapons. I just want their stuff. I my 18 HP rounds. Plus P rounds. Well, you know what? Not bad. Loner? Oh, hey. You're actually... Wait. You're the guy I needed to protect. What about that other mission that I was supposed to defend the place? Wait. Didn't I take a mission to defend the bar? Wait, I got something there. I did that? Wait, they were together? I had to do these together? It was the same thing? What? No, 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 no! That thing just sucked me up like a vacuum! It's okay, I just quick saved anyway. It apparently is the same mission. Huh. That's interesting. That's rather weird. Brother, what are you doing? I need to rescue you. Alright, let's not try to deal with all those other bandit bodies. I got some stuff. It's good enough. Right, Desperate. I know I saved the game. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I guess we did. Uh, we did complete that one mission was to defend Rostock. And to apparently save this stalker at the same time. Hey. You know what? We'll take it. Sounds like I'm walking in deep snow. It might be because of all the anomaly effects. I put in the EFP footsteps because when we were playing it, for some reason, actually, the footsteps stopped working. For, uh, I'm not really sure why. But, no, dude, don't ignore Open combat, fire. please. Ignore, ignore combat, ignore combat. You fucking idiot, dude. Come on. I don't want to have to fight flesh and dogs because you're too stupid. Got it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you guys are having fun in the chat, I see. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the rebounder. Oh. That's my favorite anomaly in the entire game. 
I love the rebounder in Ami more than anything. Best way to get killed. Especially if you get it at a good angle, then it sends you flying across the map. Battle bit remastered. I think it's on sale right now, isn't it? Um, I saw it at the front here. Payday 3. Mostly negative. Payday 3 has mostly negative. Overwhelmingly negative. Oh. Oh. That's actually fucking hysterical. Where was Battle? Yeah, Battle Bits on sale for seven and a half dollars. That's not so bad, Headhunter. That's not so bad. Ah, oh, Noctis. I love the rebounder anomaly. I want it to send me flying every time. I need it to send me flying. I had like a hangnail. Ouch, that hurts now. I shouldn't have done that. It hurt before, now it hurts. Yeah, it hurts the same. Whatever. Postal three and a half. <laughs> I was seeing people was talking about payday three, and it was like, it's like payday two, but just like newer stuff. It's like they literally could have just kept making new DLCs for payday two. After how many they made, I mean, Jesus. Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, yeah. Epic Game Services. Does it really have Epic Game Services? Ugh. Oh, you're right, Daz Bruce. The Darkness Anomaly. That's my second favorite, though. I like that one. I like that one, too. Don't have a job yet? Uh, okay, I get you, I get you, yeah. I get you. Pirate games. Eh, I don't bother with pirating games anymore. It's usually more trouble than it's really worth nowadays. Apparently my one friend is actually kind of big into pirating games, but it's it's not exactly pirating, it's emulating Nintendo games on the PC. But I know Nintendo was like super anal about uh, emulators. So, it's, it's at that point it is technically pirating. Yeah, no, Epic Games stuff is just bad. I've never been- I fucking can't stand it. I know my buddies were like into that for a little while because Epic Games like were doing the free games. And you'd get like a free game at some points. And there were some that were not bad, but it was just like, I just fucking hated Epic Games. I just can't stand them, honestly. This guy up here, he wants me to send it back. Yeah, I mean, emulation is technically different, but at the same time, you know, you are like copying something that exists already and not necessarily purchasing it. So, and, and at least in Nintendo's case in particular, because they've actually sent lawsuits down to stop emulation, it technically is pirating at that point. Well, that's true, Real. Once you dump your own game, once you give your games, like, once you have an SDK for your game, piracy doesn't really exist. Or, like, once you actually give the engine out, then it is what it is at that point. That guy would get the fuck all the way over there. I just think emulation from a standpoint of like resurrecting games that are literally ancient and can't be played on current day hardware. Like that's not. Uh, how is that pirating realistically? How is it really pirating? Because the game literally can't be played on the hardware that exists today. That's the one part I think about, but. The only thing with Nintendo is Nintendo handed down lawsuits because of it, so... And they won because they have more money. They have so many fucking lawyers. They're able to just get away with that shit. Bullshit.
Which are three Metal Gear Rise. <laughs> nice. Most old games are abandoned wear. That's what I'm saying. I know. They literally are at that point. They're so, they're obsolete. Like, it's obsolete hardware at that point. It's obsolete software at that point. So it's like stealing it or recreating it is literally a resurrection. It's not even a... It's not real piracy. It just gets in those gray... It does technically get into the gray areas of legality if you're distributing it. That's where it gets into the gray areas, but... Well, yeah, that's the thing, Maximus. Nintendo technically has won lawsuits when it comes to emulation, so trying to go against them is, for all intents and purposes, it is technically illegal, because they could just hand you a cease and desist. Just like that, because they've won the lawsuits already. But... Yeah, Nintendo's super, super anal, you know. They're really uppity about that shit. I emulate things... Just because there's hardware that exists and games that exist on those hardware that you can't have today, so. But. Yeah, guys, at this point, I do have my hard stop right now, so at this point, I am going to have to call it here. Yeah, no, nah, I gotta call it here, my boys. This is my hard stop, so. Ah, oh, good, yeah. Yeah, I gotta call it here. So, all right, boys and girls, well, we had a nice stream, about four hours, a little bit shorter than I normally run, but it's all good. Still got a little time to go and stream and hang out with you guys. I hope you guys had some fun. Yes, we will quick save. In fact, actually, I'll do you one better. Watch this stuff. A hard save. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, Matas. I'll get, I'll get Cyberpunk. We'll stream that next week. We'll stream some Cyberpunk next week, so you guys are all here. If you want to know, next week we'll be streaming some Cyberpunk because my guy Matas has been talking it up big time and he just bought me it. So, eh, I got to do him a good favor and get uh, Cyberpunk on stream next week and we'll go out and have some fun. But otherwise, everybody, so let me go ahead and pick us up out of here. It's all the dogs barking around my fucking neighborhood. Every single person in my entire neighborhood has dogs. Everybody. Everybody has fucking dogs. It's crazy. I have dogs behind me, in front of me, to the side, both sides. I have dogs across the street, like all the way across the street, everything. Fucking dogs everywhere. It's crazy. But, all right, boys and girls. I'm going to give us a little transition here to our ending and find us. I, I like that intro song that I had, the Dusty Five. Yeah, yeah. All right, boys and girls. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was a nice little Friday stream. A little bit shorter than usual, but it'd be what it'd be. Next week, we'll be doing some cyberpunk streaming. I might pick up the Knots Pod Pack in another, at another point in time. Uh, there's always something to stream. You know, I've been getting some stream suggestions, too, on the Discord. If you guys want to offer up something, I've been playing My Summer Car, too. So there's always something to play. I've been doing the Into the Radius series. If you guys haven't checked that out, the last video I thought was actually pretty fun. And the next one is crazy. So, I hope you guys look forward to that one. We'll be doing a couple uploads next week for that series, the Into the Radius stuff. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, whatever it may be, evening, night, or otherwise, and have an absolutely wonderful weekend.